Hello, hello. Angie, you are first in the chat. I appreciate you being here. I'll be pretty late for you, though. All of you European folks. Bert, what's up? Sergio, Ta, hello, anonymous atheist. Nija. Nija is a cool name. Cooler than my name. Amy, greetings. Thank you so much. Hello, Meredy, Ed, Brandon, Scannis. Two in the morning for you, Scannis. That means you must be in. Let me guess the country. Hold on. It is 7.40 p.m. Eastern right now, so 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. Are you in Belgium? Are you in... Eastern Europe? Christopher, what's up, man? What's up to the Twitch chat? Who we got here? We got anybody here on the Twitch chat? Or is my Twitch channel dead now? Oh my god. Here, we got anybody here on the Twitch chat? Oh, there we go. Sun Goddess and Autumn and Tardis. Tardis. The quotes don't work yet. Every time I see Tardis, I just remember that I haven't done Twitch quotes yet. I'm not smart enough to figure it out. Rolling Meepo. Hello. Corrigan. First time chatter. Welcome to the chat. Okay, let's head to the tavern. Let's jump in for part four of Honor Mode Attempt... I'm going to say number two. All right, technically, it's number three because I died in the tutorial, but do we really count that? I don't think we do, okay? I just don't think we count it. Okay? Voldafart, thank you for the tier one sub to the tavern. You guys guessed it. Got a nice Diet Coke, caffeine-free. Let's go. Make sure you cancel your YouTube membership, Voldafart. Some of you guys be subscribed to my Twitch, my Utah, YouTube, my Patreon. It's not acceptable. One platform is enough. All right, let's waste no more time. Let's jump right into it. You guys are all about that life. You guys about that life or what? I'll just assume you'll never get quotes working, but it's okay. One day you'll be able to pay me and I'll do it for you. <laughs> Thalen, hello, Michael. 9 a.m. here. 9 a.m., oh my gosh. Where, where are you? Pseudonym, hello. Thank you for your long time support. Josh Miller, what's up? Cthulhu. Let's go. All right, so hopefully tonight we can get out of Act 1, and then uh, we'll be in Act 2 after that. Of course, right? Because what comes after Act 1? Tardis, you know the answer to that? Act 3? Yeah, true. Oh, Eldroth77 in the Twitch chat says I wiped on the last boss. Hey, man, I don't know if you're familiar with my YouTube channel or what I do, but I feel for you, okay? I experienced something similar. <laughs> All right, so the hag is now dead. Let's go ahead and take a little nappy poo. Pfizer, what's up, man? How am I enjoying Monk? I'm enjoying the Monk quite a lot so far. It's a very impactful class. It's pretty fun. Now, the only problem with my Monk is... I did the Tavern Brawler feat, which is super powerful. But when you do the Tavern Brawler feat, your Monk is now based off of strength. And then you kind of run into the problem of... A, I have too many ability scores that I need to focus on. So what a lot of Monk players will do is they will... Dump their strength and rely on Elixirs of Strength. To make up for that. But I decided not to do that. So my monk is currently really low AC. <laughs> but that's okay. My Lazel monk. Currently have a 10 in dexterity. And that is added to my armor class. So we're going to have to figure out something. 
as we push on here. I'm thinking if I pick up the Gloves of Dexterity and the Githyanki Crush, then I'll probably be fine. And also, if I use the Gloves of Dexterity, I think I'm giving up some special Monk Bracers that you can be wearing in the game. But you know what? Either way, there's a couple builds in this game that are probably OP and too powerful. Open Hand Tavern Brawler Monk being one of them. So if I have to gimp myself and have a low Dexterity, then so be it. We need a little bit of balance, right? Enough waiting. I crave blood. Hey, Lisa, what's up? Oh, no, 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 no. Way too much. I don't care if someone needs to speak to me. What's up, Wiz? Fozzy? Good evening. Yesterday, I made Will become a Lemur for the first time. A little messed up, man. What if he didn't want to be one? Lemurs are the scum of the hells. Oh, I know what we're doing right now. Let's hurry towards the sound. Lazel wants more sausage. It's little things like this that make Baldur's Gate 3 so great. All right, let's hold Scratch's gaze and incline our head towards the cup. Everything all right? Get the Yankee race is definitely a pretty powerful racial choice, even though I'm playing Lazelle and you can't choose race, but the Get the Yankee race is really good. Medium armor proficiency, the jump spell, mage hand, um, astral, whatever I'm using right now for the ability score bonuses. It's a great race. Scratch's tail wags furiously. These two have become firm friends. Okay, let's observe the pair for any Nothing. signs of injury. Both animals look fine, watching you expectantly. There's some really good monk gloves. Yeah, I guess I'd have to figure out, is it worth having a plus four dexterity modifier, or is it worth having cool monk gloves that have nice abilities? We'll weigh those options when we have to. Plus four to dexterity is pretty big for the monk if I'm unarmored. I could just become an armored monk. Wear heavy armor. Actually, I don't have heavy armor proficiency. I have medium armor proficiency. If I want heavy armor proficiency, I have to multi-class into something or take a certain feat. Next, Gotta remember what I'm doing here. My faith will guide me. Let's go get. Let's go get the Spider Queen. I have to go down there anyways, so I can get the gem for the Necromancy of Thay. So we might as well do that right now. From an overgrowth of moss, the well looks unremarkable. Josh Miller, thank you for the 499. Been with you since the start of BG3 Early Access. Thank you, Josh. That's awesome. The coin disappears into the well. After a moment, you hear a soft clink, not a splash. It is pretty crazy how long many of us have been following you know, BG3's development. It's really crazy, actually. Because we technically heard about Baldur's Gate 3 with the announcement trailer back in 2019. And 2019 was a long time ago. And then, of course, we were able to participate in Early Access for over three years. And now we're already six months past the release of BG3. Man, life is weird, isn't it? Life is weird. Next thing you know, it'll be four years later and we'll be playing Larian's next game. BG3 will be a thing of the past. Mm. 
Let me check something over here real fast. Everybody down. Action. I feel so nimble and I feel so quick as a monk. Yeah, I could just grab the gem and peace out. I don't know if the spider queen's even going to give me any noticeable XP boost because I'm level 5 right now. Ignis. You know, I gotta say... Having a high elf in my group when you don't have a wizard and being able to get that free cantrip and taking firebolt, pretty useful. I pretty much never don't have somebody that has firebolt in my group. But the weird party comp that I'm doing right now with the double clerics, I actually need that firebolt cantrip, so that's pretty nice. That's your fifth run. Um, I did, I did custom, two custom runs, good and evil playthrough, and then I did that full honor mode run. So this is my fourth run, my fourth BG three run since the game came out. Searching for potions of speed and things of that nature. Wonder if it's even worth killing all the baby spiders on this one or if I should just go all out on the spider queen I think I might do that oh, I could go for a good meal oh enough waiting I crave blood Damn, man. You know, without having with having no wizard in my group too, scrolls are going to be even more important than they already are in general. Scrolls of magic missile in particular. All right, let's go kill the spider queen. Too many choices to do things in Act Three. Yeah, when you enter into the Rivington District for the first time, it is kind of like a "oh crap, what do I do now?" moment. <laughs> But you just gotta focus yourself down and follow a few quests Enough and you'll be waiting. fine. I crave blood. Hey Carol, what's up? Yeah, I could use the Hill Giant Club, I guess, but um does that work for Tavern Brawler though? Isn't Tavern Brawler only work for unarmed attacks? I don't think it works when you attack with the when you attack with a club. So you're sacrificing a hit or two when you attack with your main hand? Am I correct in saying that? You're not going to get that strength boost? Hey, Yasna, what's up? Chip, how you doing? Peace, dog. When you attack her babies, you trigger her legendary action. Yes, I am aware. I uh, killed the spider. I fought pretty much every single boss except Raphael on my first honor mode attempt. You're a completionist? Um, you don't actually set off for legendary action if you're not in combat, though. So I think I can sneak over here for a good meal. and take out these babies real quick without her knowing. Light as air. At least I can get rid of this little group right here. Pretty sure I can do this. Um, you know what I could do? I could just... Oh god. Oh no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not used to lying it low. doesn't set it off. Oh, that was actually really good. Hold on. Oh. Okay. Oh shit! No! Abandon quest. Abandon quest. Oh my god, what is going on right now? Scratch scratches in combat with the spider queen. <laughs> scratches in combat with the spider queen. 
Holy crap, this is crazy. Go, buddy. Oh my god, my right leg is like completely numb right now. How did I let it do that? I can't even feel it. GM Dragon, hello. You think Paladin is amazing for an honor mode run? Yeah, I agree. Paladin's one of the best classes in the game. You can burn the web under her. True. Very true. All right. Um, <clears throat> you guys want to see Scratch? Have you guys ever seen an honor mode Scratch solo run before? I don't think you have. <laughs> all right. So honestly, oh, damn. These guys are all... I would like to... Do, 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 do. I think I'm going to test out Gossamer Tomb right now. Let's see. Face Spider can spend a legendary action to use Gossamer Tomb. So actually, this might be a nice time to bring in the rest of my party. I can sneak them all the way around. I wonder if I can get around these spiders. Let's try this. On, Should be fun. Go. Ah, my foot's asleep right now. Oh, wow. Come on, leg, wake back up. Scratch, hey, Shy, what's up? Scratch will be fine. A couple spideys. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my right leg is dead right now. Come on, buddy. Wake up now. Oh shit. What just happened? Why is Karlak not? Oh my God, nothing is going. Why is nothing going as planned right now? Ah, shit. I knew it was. Well, I wonder if I can sneak. I wonder, hold on, let's try this. Got a little bit of a problem here. Let me at least take my monk. Out of sight. Light steps. Oh wow, yeah, we got these spiders right here too. What would happen if I just casually threw? Nice. Let's get on with it. Okay, get back into hide. There we go. Oh no, it doesn't look like I can actually make it through. Um, where's the spider queen? She's up here. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is crazy. My faith protects me. This is batshit crazy, folks. Let me think real fast what I want to do. Oh, nothing ever goes as planned, does it? This is going to be such an easy quick fight. Till I ruined it. Till I ruined it. All right, I think I'm going to send these guys back up. Actually, I'm going to fight the Spider Queen probably in this front area instead of sneaking around. Can't afford to stay idle. This guy's pissing me off, though. The mission has to come first. Silent is the grave. Ready for anything. And then Karlak, we can probably... Let me go back to Karlak right now. Good. Scratch his turn though, so let's let's see if we can get this Gossamer tomb to work. We're gonna sacrifice Scratch. No Gossamer tomb. Okay. Let's have some fun. Stay low. Honestly, Spirit Guardians would be great for when all these spiders come over. But I just wonder if it's going to set off. Damn, I can't reach over there. Um, this damn spider's pissing me off down here. 
Okay, let's just uh, see if I can get a shot off from right here. 80% chance I have to go on the web though. I wonder if I could switch her boots real fast. It's, gonna, it's not going to let me do that. Is Carlax wearing them right now? Um, yeah, hold on. Can you feel death's cold grip? And let's see where the spider is in the order of turns. Phase spider. Where's the mama? Phase spider, phase spiderling, phase spiderling. Oh, mama spider's right there. Okay, all right. Secrecy above all. So let's go ahead. All right, Karlak. It's go time. End. End. Yeah, that's a lot of damage for a freaking phase spider. That was a lot of damage. Damn, I wish I had my misty step right now. You have arrows of fire. I think this will be a this will be a great move, even though I might actually Yep, let's do it. Doesn't matter. Alright, there's Gossamer Tomb. Cool. Oh wow. That's so cool, isn't it? Oh shit, she's about to die. Might actually have to move Scratch down to pick somebody up if they go down. I'm gonna start having Scratch head this way. <laughs> That's fun. I'm a tavern brawler, Monk. Is the reason why her dex is low right now. I wish it was a little bit higher, but... I had too many ability scores I had to focus on. Alright. She still got Shadow Heart. Could throw. I'm thinking we probably I'm thinking we do. Not yet. Please. The dance macabre. And this will do nicely. I'm thinking I know what we do here. Go examine. Gossamer tomb. Unless the silk is removed with acid or fire damage, it will explode, dealing eight to eighty poison damage to the entombed creature. Unless the silk is removed with acid or fire damage. Really? Wow, that's pretty crazy. How do you remove it with acid or fire damage? I guess we could just do... Hmm, Carlac's extremely low on HP too. What's next, I wonder? No Let's come over here. And let's throw. I don't have too many of these. Oh wow, it doesn't even interesting. Really? Wow. Okay. I've missed this. Okay, so you just needed a little bit of fire damage. Should have done that first. Damn, I can't see. I'm ready. Wonder why it won't let me go back to Shadow Heart's turn. What the hell? Did all messed up.
wonder if I would get Gossamer tombed again or if it already technically did it. Yep. Dude, how is this expires dealing so much freaking damage? Holy crap. I gotta get serious now. This is insane. Fine, I'll save you. Take you. Really? I don't want to drink any of these right now, but find a route. It is what it is. Need to get a little bit of a strong start here because this is looking kind of kind of shady. You know what I mean? Get him, buddy. Oh, damn. Okay, we're okay. Run over those webs you get put into combat. can't jump over sight lines. I used to try that in the beginning. It doesn't help. Nice. Oh, is that going to require me to go up? I think it is. Yeah, it requires me to go all the way up top. That does too, but I might actually want to kill. wonder if I could make it through this. Let's give it a try. Oh, 
Oh, nope. Didn't even give me a stealth check. I wonder why. It was half light. Really? Really, really? Stop bleeding. Take you. See ya. That wasn't too bad. Much easier at level five. That wasn't too bad. I just didn't expect the Spider Queen to hit as hard as she did. It's kind of cool to mess with the Gossamer Tomb, though. Because on my first run, it didn't really happen to me. Hey, Replicator, what's up? You guys don't like a starry on being a cleric? You unholy bastards. Hey, Jeremy, what's up? Did Scratch die? Maybe. What Maybe day? not. Maybe. <laughs> Scratch sacrificed himself for the greater cause, okay? That's what I have him here for. He's a summons that can be used and abused because he can't actually die. I barely got any XP from that. It really wasn't even necessary, but it's kind of fun to come back and do it at level 5. If you do that fight at level 3 or 4, you got to be a little bit more careful with your strategy. Or you gotta take advantage of the webs, etc. Level 5, you can just run in and... You guys saw how the combat, in start, combat encounter started. Wasn't the way I wanted it to start, but it really wasn't that bad of a fight. So yeah, take out those easier mobs before you attempt the legendary creatures. Get as much XP as you can. A cup of Coke says, ah, yes, yes, we love Coke around here. You know, to be honest with you, I've always been a Coke fan. But I think I'm liking, I think I like Pepsi more now. I think I like the Diet Pepsis even more. Hey, Morgana, what's up? No, don't try it, Morgana. Stay away from it. Wolf takes such little sips. What's the point? Bruh. I'm sipping. Are you kidding me? Do you know how good those little sips are? What do you want me to do? Drink it in, drink it in one gulp, and then I can't savor the taste over the next hour. This is my last diet coke. You know, you gotta savor the taste. It's my last diet coke, man. I can't go back in the fridge and get another one because they don't exist. What are you out of your damn mind? Rick, how are you, man? Diet Pepsi is what I'm drinking. Is it caffeine free, Rick? I don't know what your uh, what your work schedule is like anymore, though. So you might be able to have caffeine this late at night. Me? Nah, I don't do caffeine. I try not to do caffeine afternoon anymore. You know why? Because the half life of caffeine caffeine is supposedly 12 hours. Even if you're someone that can sleep with caffeine in their set. Even if you're someone who can have a cup of coffee at 8 o'clock and go to bed at 10 at night. The caffeine is still strong in your system. So from what I understand, it still negatively affects your sleep. Even if you don't notice it yourself, you could be getting a better night's sleep. Okay? And yes, I am a doctor. In case you're wondering. 
to stop drinking caffeine after noon. Okay. All right. Go ahead and read this book. The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole, only an oval recess in the cover's mouth. There goes your potential Coke sponsorship. You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. Curious. Why don't you take a closer look? I'll observe from back here. Please don't open the creepy book. That looks terribly heavy. Why don't you let me carry it for you? Oh, you must thank you for the Twitch Prime, my friend. Place the amethyst in the slot on the book's cover. Cinnamon spice decaf tea? Nice, Amy. So I respect that. putting the book away for now. I don't trust it. I don't trust it in the hands of Lazel. Alright, I think we can, uh, we can go kick some ass in the Underdark now. Um, what else? Underdark and Mountain Pass, right? I think that's it. You guys want me to do the Grimforge fight tonight? Let me just think for a second. Let me just walk the roads of Faerun and contemplate my decisions. Yeah, let's go to the Underdark. Sure, why not? Keep a blade close. Probably should take a long rest considering I don't know how many spell slots are right now. Blackets will be done. An efficient path. Securing. You guys think long rests are overrated? Don't touch me. Go. You guys think I'm gonna TPK on the Grim fight? Caffeine free Mountain Dew? They don't make caffeine free Mountain Dew? Mountain Dew is disgusting. You guys know how much sugar is in Mountain Dew? It's disgusting. Tastes foul. Oh wait, shit, hold on. Oh yeah, we got the bullet too. Let's take a long rest before I get into something I don't want to. You never had Mountain Dew before, Shy? What? Not even Baja Blast from Taco Bell? Andrew says, I missed my chance at the hag's hair on honor mode last night because I didn't realize casting enhance ability during the dialogue check would proc her legendary ability in force combat. Why does forcing combat prevent you from getting the hag's hair? That's how you get her to give it to you. You get into combat. Am I misunderstanding something? You get into combat with her and when she's super low on HP, she offers you a bargain. Oh, you're saying, oh, I know what you're saying. During that scene, during that scene, you got into con Okay, interesting. <laughs> that sucks. I missed my chance to. I accidentally killed the hag. I was too excited to kill the hag, and I just uh, totally forgot about the ability score increase. I like to do it manually. They make Diet Mountain Dew? Oh, they do make it. Okay. That must be sugar-free. You like potatoes? Potatoes are pretty good. Unless they're sweet potatoes, then they're not that good. Eager for battle. What now? Keep your distance, darling. 
Eager for battle. Was someone there? No time to dally. Don't be All right, it is bullet time. See if we can tear that bastard's eye out. What the? I don't know what that was, and I don't care to. Starion's a funny one, isn't he? Oh shit, I forgot about those stupid spores. Damn it. I was trying to concentrate. Nice. Oh, that one coming. Soldier. Sneak, sneak. Really? Now. Ready for anything. Not one false move. Long and low. Let me have it. Could have done that better. Oh well. Oh nice. It is only Carlac. Perfect. Dude's got resistance to everything. Oh. Yeah, okay, so I could I see what you can do with Tavern Brawler. If you want to do stunning strike, you can do it without using the weapon that you have equipped, and therefore you can get the Tavern Brawler benefit. Well, this is my happy place. Really now? Dude, I'm about to show up to Larian Studios and start swinging. Invite me to another panel from hell. See what happens, Larian. I'm gonna show up swinging. Would have been smart to do a guiding bolt before I attacked with my battle master. Hello, you. Not a sound. I'll miss. <laughs> nice, good, good one. That's a good. You hope for Scratch to survive this fight, bro. Bro, man. Let's throw some water at this thing. Because why not? Something different. Oh, nice. I made everybody else wet, too. That was a smart move. Now it's probably going to belly flop a Starion. Gotcha. See ya. Yeah, whenever I use the uh, the staff, it doesn't give me the tavern brawler boost. And that one did. Time to 
Man, this party is going to be pretty damn, pretty damn powerful. Super low AC for my monk right now. You guys see me complaining? I'm not complaining. It ain't no big deal. Oh, action, not reaction. Objective noted. I remember there's only bare hand and improvised. Yeah, when you use a weapon, you don't, you know, unless it's improvised, yeah, you don't get the benefits of it. But it looks like you can punch without using it, so no big deal. Who needs AC when everyone's dead? True. Get confused by one. Based AF, man. I can get revenge on the spores. That's a good question. That's a good question. Should I treat the Mykonids with respect this time? Or should we wipe these jabronis? What do you guys think? Fresh should I wipe the Mykonid colony? Go kick Barabbas' ass real fast, Bernard. Maybe resurrect the boulette, make the underdark super quick and smooth. You are swallowed by the beast. State your purpose. Be nice. What would Bazel do? Wipe? What's up, Zaphiel? Thank God you showed up, Zaphiel. I don't know what I don't know who's in the chat today, man. There's some There's some interesting people. Resurrectable. It is. It is pretty fun doing that. I might do that. The parasite is quiet. That, the pers You're right. I might do that. Mazel would kill. You think she would though? Yeah, she probably would. You know, I asked. A, I asked a community poll. I, I created a community poll on the channel yesterday, which asked people what real life companion would you want to step into your life. You got to take yourself out of the, you know, non-consequential video game mindset that we're in. What companion would you want to step in your real life and meet your family and see on a day-to-day -day basis? Interesting discussion to be had, but people come at it from different perspectives. Are we talking beginning Baldur's Gate 3 origin characters? Or are we talking end game? Because end game characters are much different than beginning game. Like, Gal doesn't have to be an exploding time bomb if... If you use endgame gal. Karlak, unfortunately, has to have it no matter what, but. Endgame Shadowheart is very different than start a game Shadowheart, that's for sure. <laughs> Shadowheart simps. True. Ah. This... I do enjoy a good bargain. If anything in my private collection is to your liking. I buy this. God, look at my persuasion. It's so bad. Not a single one of my characters. I think a start. Who has the highest? Charisma 8, Charisma 8, Charisma 7, and Charisma 10 on a star. Yeah. That's pretty pathetic. Ah, a visitor. Yeah, the origin characters do change quite site. a lot. Depending on how you treat them. When that pull I was conflicted, I thought it would be Will, but then I realized I wouldn't want Mizora showing up around my kids. Well, you could look at it as endgame Will, and then, well, I guess, yeah. It depends on how you handle Will. It depends on what you do with him in the story, right? Karlak is not power hungry at, hungry at all. True. He does have, uh, 
infernal hell machine in her chest, though. I do enjoy a good bargain. If anything in my private collection is to your liking. I love the music down here. It's so, uh, it's so mushroomy. So cute. I like keeping the thrown weapons, they're kind of fun. Nature's I wonder if anybody... Do any of you guys actually add things to wares? Or is that just like something that Larian thought was going to be helpful, but nobody actually uses it? Do any of you guys consistently add things to wares when you're playing this game? I feel like it's quicker just not to. And just sell... Like just mass self... I don't know. Like the time it takes to right-click, add to wares... I don't know. I'm not a supporter of add, adding items to you guys. I do. You guys use it all the time. I was asking the Twitch chat, not the YouTube chat. Okay, and the, and the Twitch chat says I don't even know what it does. See, I knew I was right. I always add things to wares while I'm looking, and then I sell wares. Well, you guys are apparently more bougie than I am. Okay. My bad. We're trying to have fun in a video game. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm in, I'm in a weird mood tonight. It's been a long day. Let's put it that way, all right? It's been a long, long day. All right, that's probably pretty good. Sell this so much smite. I'm going to buy. Actually, I think I'm going to buy. Honestly, I think I'm going to buy the Scroll of Ice Storm. Maybe Invisibility, too. How much is that? 735 gold. This Dude, this dude is straight up ripping me off. I'll take the deal. Yes, let's. All jewels add to wares. Is the oh, this, this guy, Sovereign's man. I got some choice words for Sovereign Spa tonight. At its feet. A droning melody greets you as the creature turns its gaze to you. Flesh talker. I only add undergarments to wares. I show you a memory. Watch and listen. A violent vision grips you. Dwegger, dark dwarves chopping myconid remains. They broke our peace. They killed our young. The Sovereign's song slows to the pace of a dirge. It is still in mourning. We laid waste to many, but intruders remain. Lakewood. The Sovereign's song halts as it measures your worth. I sense your resolve. You will find Dwer... Dwergar invaders, huh? I'd like to hear their side of the story first, but all right. I always add to where saves a lot of time selling all the junk, but does it save time though? But does it? The amount of time it takes you to add things to wares? Could, you could just do it at the trader, right? That's the same time it takes to click an item in the trader. All right, but you can also mass select items though, so it does save time. I'm just giving you guys crap. Planting spores in a corpse. What magic is this? We breathe life into our enemy's flesh. The dead make a fine host for my growing children. Think I care about your children, dude? Yeah, because you can add wares on pickup. Okay, I'm wrong. All right, you guys don't got to rub it in my face anymore. I'm wrong. Probably the first time ever that I've been wrong. Flesh 
tongue talker. Far you've come. Reach into memory. Tell me of home. My home is wherever I travel. It reveals its own home in reply. A humid cove filled with decaying myconid corpses. Dwegar destroyed my people. I do not belong here. I grow among them, yet I am not of them. All right, brother. I'm ready for the next legendary action boss. That's what I'm ready for. It greets you with a harrowing elegy, cheerless as the new moon. I'll cleanse the rot. Those Dwergar near the lake will die. The sovereign gifts you one more vision. A wall of vines. Riches of magic and you do the circle a service. We will all Gotcha, brother. Did you just call me? Toe Prancer? I will join you. All right, now we go resurrect the Bullet. Or I could resurrect. You guys want me to resurrect the Bullet or the Spectator? I think the Spectator would be pretty cool this time. I did Bullet last time, so let's do the Spectator. It's against sporeman, sporesmanship. Blood is OP as hell. It's true. The blood is so good. Once you get the blood on your side, like you don't have to worry about anything in the Underdark until you get the Grimforge. Spectator is way cooler. Okay, we'll do Spectator. We'll do Spectator. Just for your guys' entertainment. Come on, brother. Careful, I'm behind. Quick step. Mm. Oh, interest. They don't let you do the spectator anymore? Release spores at a corpse to animate it as a spore servant under your command. Only affects one target at a time. No effects on corpses of constructs, plants, or aberrations. What a change from early access. Spectators are aberrations. Damn, man. Really? I think they could have made an exception for that. I mean, the bullet is clearly the most powerful summons that you can have. So having a spectator isn't going to make like, it's not going to like Watch break the back. game. Over here. Bullet, but. Silence. Dude, dodge the health potion. <laughs> what if I do a short rest of this one? I didn't. You know what I need to do is, um, I should have done aid with the with the Minotaur, but that's okay. I don't want to waste a spell slot right now because we're going to go get into some combat. One more couldn't hurt. Not like we don't have a shit ton of these. All right. Let's head on out. Here we go. Let's see what the... Oh, man. So cool how they have, like, the spore effect, the fungus effect. 
You guys think that this Minotaur has foot fungus? Gore. Impale a target and push it back seven feet. Charge forward, attacking all enemies in the way, pushing them back and knocking them prone. Damn, that's so cool. Reckless Roar. Gain advantage on attack rolls. Attackers also gain advantage on attack rolls against you. It's kind of like a barbarian move. And Brutal Leap. Awesome. Watch Exciting. Alright, let's go wipe the Underdark. We'll start with the Dwergar. I can remember how to get back there. It'd be funny if the Minotaur caused me to get into combat with the Mushroom Village. Minotaur Toe Fungus. Hey, Banana, what's up? Anytime Oliver tried to heal me by throwing health potions, my character would dodge it. That's funny. Yeah, I guess it's better just to throw them on the ground, like right next to your character's feet. The perfect health potion throw isn't at the player, nor is it like near the player. It's like right there. It just automatically gets sucked up if you do it right there. If you do it right here, then it just becomes a mist and you have to walk into it. Like right there. That's the perfect health potion throw. Assume nothing. If you guys care. Positioning. Um, where the hell am I right now? Oh yeah, we're going this way. Oh yeah, I do have an LFG channel on the Discord server if you're looking for co-op partners. I'm not sure if people are actively using it right now. I think they are. Catastrophe. Thank you for the prime. I appreciate that. All right, how to get over here. You guys remember when I had the boulette, I had to jump everywhere and it was pretty annoying. I'm kind of happy that I don't have the boulette on this run. Bodies are like breadcrumbs. Jay says, this is so exciting. I found this channel a few months ago after catching up on the various series. It feels special to catch one live. You know what? To the tavern, just for Jay right now. What a guy. Skull. Yes, I'm currently on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. For any of you guys wondering who I'm talking to, if you guys don't see the person in the chat. Good old-fashioned multi-streaming. Can't go wrong. I waste an action and lose a potion every time. Someone's sneaking up on us. You guys think I care about dialogue in this game? You're out of your damn mind. I'm here to kill. Alright. Oh man, I should probably... Well, let's just get the job done. Let's stop thinking about it. Speed combat. This dude's over here. I wonder if Sleet Storm would get him out of invisibility. I know he's over here somewhere. What if I took a guess? I got a better idea. Aha! Double cleric is badass. Water does it. What am I doing the ASMR honor mode run? Gotta get Twitch partnership. Is that the one where I wear the bird mask or the other ASMR? And my whitey tighties. And like I said, folks, everything comes at a price. If the price is right. Things can happen.
45% chance with Great Weapon Master on. Let's turn it off for this attack. Oh, wrong one. Ooh. What'd you do there, my friend? Did you drop your weapon? Wish I could use disarming attack on the shield, and that would reduce his armor class. Get him, boy. Who's my main carry in my party? I mean, honestly, I have a pretty powerful party right now, so I don't know. I have a Battlemaster fighter and an open hand monk. It'll be interesting to see at the end of this run who I feel like is a better character, the All Out Battlemaster or the Tavern Brawler monk. And then I have two clerics backing up my party and clerics are just, their value just can't be stated. They're so good, such a good class. People don't believe me when I say that, but. No! Really? Twenty four damage with a mini tar charge. Oh, this dude didn't even animate anybody yet. Well, in that case, let's kick his ass. What a great class. It's like I'm holding the staff, but I can just use my action and not use the staff so I can get the benefits of Tavern Brawler. That's just incredible. I should have done topple first, but actually let's try pushing. <laughs> Imagine a monk punching you going flying like that. That was pretty funny. Well, now I can't do anything. You can stay back here, Mr. Galat. We're not going to use you. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Open hand tavern brawler monk is so overpowered. Yeah, that's why I'm checking it out, man. I'm excited. Twitch is too laggy? Uh oh. You guys lagging on YouTube right now? If Twitch would give me damn partnership, I could up the damn quality over there. Actually, that would probably make it more laggy. I applied for partnership again uh, a couple days ago. My average viewership is like, I don't know, like 100 something. So they better accept it this time or I'm going to show up to Amazon and start swinging. <laughs> I got to stop saying that. I'm sorry, guys. I'm probably getting annoying. Who do you guys think would win? In a 1v1, me or Jeff Bezos? What should I do? We can set that up. Got to press on. You will miss. You think I'd miss against Jeff Bezos, though? He is pretty fit. I saw him in an interview recently. He was looking pretty jacked, too. And I'm just a computer nerd, so maybe, maybe I should rethink that. I think I can take him, though. Bezos is your boss, Carol. You work for Amazon? I got the hair advantage. Hair is probably a disadvantage. Yeah, Jeff Bezos is pretty jacked. I don't think he's always been like that, but I saw him in some like YouTube clip and I was like, damn, what has he been doing? Wait like 10 more years when he's off the juice. You guys think he's taking steroids? You guys know I support steroids. I don't support steroids. I'm just kidding. You guys can do whatever you want with your body, okay? I care about you guys, but I'm not going to tell you what to do with your bodies. Who's left? We have one invisible dwarf, and I have no idea where he's at. 
just take a swing. Let me just shoot right here. I wonder if you can shoot where an invisible target is. I bet you you can. I know you can use AoE spells. I wonder if that works with an arrow. I honestly have no idea where this guy is. Do 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 do. Oh, he's down here. Okay. Oh. Interesting. He's got a lot of HP too. Hit them invisible with it. You can. That's pretty cool if you figure out the spot they're in. Oh no. Okay, he can get through it. Nice. Apparently Minotaurs can't can't climb rope nets. Well, this guy's dead. You guys ready for this? And we'll hit him with the staff too. Like no experience right now from these guys. One true way. The fanfare is sunk. The rot is closed. I don't even know if I want to do Bernard's tower right now. To be honest with you, you guys want me to fight Bernard? It's probably not gonna. Probably better off just going to Grim. What's the loot for? Yeah, just I think it looks kind of funny. That's pretty much it. Why do you have a staff as a monk? Because it gives me some extra bonuses and I don't have to use it for most of my attacks. Because I have unarmed strikes that I can choose. Uh, monks aren't supposed to be unarmed though. Only if you're doing certain builds. Like I'm doing a tavern brawler build so I do benefit from being unarmed. But monks can use monk weapons too. But I'm barely using the staff. I'm mostly doing unarmed strikes. All right, let's go. Let me bang out another. Let's let's go kill the hook horrors real fast. Ever thought of bringing back a minotaur? Yeah, you should you should do it with the bullet though if you can. We decided to do minotaur this time just because it's different. But you can also resurrect the bullet or animate the bullet. Oh no, I do have to get those boots from the gnome. Those are pretty good boots. Good thinking. Give the vampire boy to Bual. I was eating stuffed crust pizza and I thought, man, I wonder if Wolf is streaming. speak the forbidden words in this chat man at the start of a stream you guys can't be bringing up stuff cross pizza are you guys kidding me right now oh my god i want it so bad and i can't have it a big fat juicy greasy stuffed crust pizza from pizza hut just rubbing it all over my face and my body and just oh my god oh wow man can dream man can dream You know what, man? I hope you're enjoying your stuffed crust beads. Really do. What the hell did I just do? Someone there. Do do.
What's going on? Fading. I don't know, Oliver asks shy. Eva, I'm finally dead or you healed me. Why? How could I pass by? You were in pain. No arguments there. Uber Felt eats. like a hook horror was sorting through my guts. But <clears throat> that cure did the trick. Quick sharp too. I thank you for your help. Hey Pyro. But I gotta get moving. Oh, it hurts. Carl's garters. Oh, I don't have time for this. My kin need me. You're in no condition to help anyone. Maybe not, but you are. I need you to rescue my kin. But everybody just we wants to do everything we're for them. We're on best artificers in Baldur's Gate. We were on an expedition down here when the Dwegar snatched us up. I got away, but not the others. The Greys have them digging out some old ruin across the lake. All right. What was this expedition your clan were on? Just mining for materials. Mm -hmm. Nothing unusual. The briefest hesitation, but enough. She's lying. I think insect insight checks are just genius well. in this game. Help my clan, and we'll make it worth your while. I swear. I think I fail like ninety-five percent of them, but it's so cool when you just get that little extra insight. You are lying. Uh oh. Theros Reigns, thank you for the prime. I appreciate it. All right, if you had a choice, which existing character would you make a companion? Mine is near. Which existing character? Fine. Like non companion character? It's complicated. Near would be but pretty my cool. My clan has trouble back in the city. A blood feud. We were searching for something to turn the tide. That's all I can say. But it's worth a lot to us. Understand? All right. I'll free your people if I can. Thank you. Only wish I could go with you. But here. <sighs> I nabbed these boots from the Greys when I ran. I'll feel better knowing you're using them to kick some Dwegger ass. I'll mark where I made my escape and uh, wait here, I suppose. The Boots of Speed. Honestly, I wonder who I want to put these on. Hold on. Um, do, 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 do. Do, do, do. You know, I don't know if I... Honestly, I think I might put on a cleric. Um, Because I like to use my bonus action to attack, although it does help you get places. And once I multi-class, I will have two bonus actions. So let's put the boots of speed on Shadow Shart for now. Great boots right there. Actually, really good on my back. I might put it on my battle master. Actually, yeah, let's put it on the battle master. Take it back. I like wearing no pants right now. There we go. And then Shadow Heart. We could start putting lightning equipment on. Actually. Making me sweat. Alright. Go this way. Before I take a long rest, we're gonna murder those placards real fast. You know, I really wish I just knew like every combat encounter in terms of like how much XP they give you at what level. This playthrough could be so much quicker. Probably should have went the other way. Oh well. Is it wrong for me to re-roll Shart into a druid and make her transform into a wolf to force her to overcome her fear of wolves? I don't trust the yeah, that's pretty messed up, man. That's pretty messed up. Volo or Alfira? I think Nier would be a cooler companion than both of them. I don't want Volo as a companion. Nah, I don't want Volo as a companion. I like him being a camp follower. I think that fits his role pretty well. Alfira will be pretty cool, but I think Nier is a cooler character than Alfira is just like. 
He's too basic good, you know what I mean? I'll take Nier. We need more evil companions. Or we could take the Drider. Man, that would be awesome. Is shit ever going to go away? You like Zrel? Okay. Yeah, the Drider would be really cool. Elminster? It's not reasonable to have Elminster as a companion, but it would be pretty cool. One of the most famous, powerful wizards in all of Faerun, a chosen of Mistra. Quiet. Oh, where's my Minotaur? Uh-oh. No! What the hell, brother? What the hell, man? Nope, I think everybody's... Why won't he... He's like stuck on... Oh, great. He's stuck on terrain or something. Minotaur can't hide. I like how he stomps around. I can't wait to mess with mods in this game in the future. Keeps getting stuck on things. Wish I could hide. Minus 13 HP. Worth it. Let's do it. No! This is good. Do, 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 do. Psycho Dog, thank you for the Prime. Thank you, thank you. Walburn will be loved by all. Barkus and Walburn will be pretty cool. You know what? You know what I was thinking about the other day. It really is kind of a bit of a. First of all, Baldur's Gate 3 is one of the greatest games ever made. Larian Studios is the greatest company out there. But it's kind of a letdown that we don't have like any halfling or dwarf companions or a dragonborn companion. Don't you guys agree? Like it's just elves and humans. A Dwarven Companion would be... That's what I would ask for first. A Dragonborn Companion would be so cool. Have like some Ranger... Oh, it'd be so cool. Meet some Dragonborn out in the woods. Ranger Dragonborn. Be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. No Half-Orc Companions. Like there's so many like exotic cooler races. And Larian didn't make a Companion for any of them. It's kind of... It, like, I never would have, like, if you guys would have asked me, I would have bet, I would have bet a thousand dollars that there would have been a Dwarven Companion, especially after DOS 2. And then I also would have bet that there would have been a Dragonborn Companion, just because they're such a cool looking race. Of course we have the Dark Urge, but that's different. I was pretty surprised that it's just like human, half-elf, high-elf, like, some of the most boring races out there. I want a Dwarven Companion, though. Dwarven Companions are just the best. They really are. Not one false move. See how far I can get before the Minotaur is spot spotted. All your mains are dwarves? Nice. Yeah, if I don't play a dwarf myself, I like to have one in my group at the very least. You agree on dwarves? To leave something for BG4. You guys like Zrel that much, really. Zrel didn't really like I don't think of Zrel that much. When I think of I'm surprised that so many people said Zrel. Get supremacy? Bro. I support that hundred percent. Classic Scottish fighter dwarf? I'd be okay with that. Elves and humans are not boring. Okay. All right. They're not boring, but they're cliche. You know what I'm saying? They're to be expected. Move. 
playing as a halfling for your outer mode run catastrophe nice that's cool i respect that my first ever bg3 run was also as a halfling too you guys remember my first ever character back in 2020 halfling biker dude Honestly, I might disengage here. Now let's just do... Oh shit, I'm running. I gotta pay attention. Damn. What the hell happened? What in the nine hells happened here? been cool to be able to side with Catherick. I agree. I agree. I thought that was like a sure thing that we'd be able to do on my first run. Cool thing is on your first run, you don't know what you can and can't do. So even if like even if you don't side with Catherick, like if you just played Baldur's Gate 3 one time, you'd position. still probably think in your head that you probably could side with him. Alright, let's do um, let's kick this guy's ass. He's got... Okay. Yeah, let's kick his ass. He's got a little magic mirror going up here, but I'm not afraid of it. This went right through it. Why did that go through it? That happened before, too. I don't know why it didn't actually... Let's see what this one is. Huh. Why did the first strike not... Not attack one of his forms here? I'm not complaining, but... Nobody wants Isabel as a party member. I think she'd be pretty cool too. Yeah, Isabel would be great. She would carry that Catherick Thorm family baggage. It'd be interesting. Just want to be able to toss a dwarf. Should have done that first. Isabel and Dame Aelin. Game Aelin's too powerful to have as an actual companion, you know? Duh. Yeah, it would have been really cool to be able to side with Catherine going into Act 3. But it's like... We, we can ask for things like these, but Larian already went above and beyond in so many areas. You know? How much more can we ask out of him? what we got. Me too. Me too. I will ascend. Damn, Aelin's immortal. Dude, this dude almost killed me. What the hell? I didn't even notice that. Just totally not paying attention for this fight. That was like no HP. Wonder if he'll cast it again. Do I not understand mirror image correctly? Like, why did that attack go through? Mirror image distracts attackers, increasing the spellcaster's... Oh, okay. Armor class by three. When the caster successfully evades an attack, one of the images dis disappear. For some reason, I always thought that mirror image was a guaranteed block. I didn't realize that there was a check. Has it always been like that?
Oh, I killed that guy. Shit, I didn't realize that. Dude, I have to tell you, but I think you're dead. In my best interest. Quickly then. Yeah, I think mirror image is a really good spell. Don't get me wrong. I think it's a really good spell. A really good defensive spell to have. Sometimes it sucks using an action to cast it, but considering that it doesn't require concentration, it can quite literally save your life for a couple rounds. Just so good. Take the Minotaurs on the boat? No. Nope, once you go to that cutscene, the summons that you have are left behind. Oh, there's still a thing up here. Take my pick. What is this? These flowers. They make my blood run as Scratched. cold as ice. Hi, buddy. Still in shadow. I have 12 HP. You guys think I can take this guy out? Oh, shit. Not good. Not good at all. Nope, I lost. I lost the 1v1. No, I didn't. See ya. Aha! An efficient path. Alright, let's come down here real fast. Hey, Steve. Yeah, I've been pretty consistent with this run so far. What I think about the Dragon Age world, I love it. I'm currently reading Dragon Age books right now. Assume nothing. I'm not sure, like, I'm trying not to hype myself up for Dragon Age 4, because who knows, like, what Bioware is like these days, especially after all those layoffs and everything. But yeah, I love Dragon Age. Love Dragon Age lore. Uh, Dragon Age Origins and Inquisition are probably two definitely up there and in my top games list. Dragon Age 2, don't get me started. Don't get me started on Dragon Age 2, folks, okay? You guys wanna get me started on Dragon Age 2 right now? I'll draw you a little diagram that I drew the chat a couple uh, couple years ago. Some of you guys know the diagram that I'm talking about. What's the worst BG3 quest in your opinion? Uh, the worst BG3 quest. Interesting. Uh, anything dealing with the Druid's Grove now. I despise those quests. Because I'm sick of the Druid's Grove. Nothing interesting we can hear the diagram. <laughs> the rock under your feet juts upwards, forming a perfectly engraved tombstone with a small epitaph. In memory of Myrna, a shining light in this dark world, may you forever gaze upon the lake you love to play in. Dribbles the Clown is the worst quest in the game. Pretty annoying. But I like I kinda like the reason why I don't like the dribbles the quest the clown quest is because the body parts weigh so much, so it's really annoying. Outside of that, I think it's kind of a cool quest that makes you want to explore the entire city. It's a quest that kind of incentivizes you to check every building, and I think there's some value behind that. But the damn body part's way too much. You should have lost weight As before dying. I agree. Slowly exposed yeah. the skeletal remains of a large hey, dog Sal, what's up? wearing a chunky leather collar. Grove is pretty grindy. 
Uh, yeah. A mystical artifact? It's really fun on your first Tell couple playthroughs, but trinket. like we were talking about last time, like the Druid's Grove, it's just like all dialogue. It's so much dialogue in the Druid's Grove that after you've done it like five times, you just dread going there. But it's also one of the greatest parts. It's also one of the greatest areas in the game on your first playthrough. Super cool. All right, let's take a little long rest. We'll go kill Bernard. Saving the Ganda and the Steel Foundry. The rats and actor. I kind of like rats quests in this game. All you got to do is have spirit guardians and it's pretty fun. It's satisfying. Although with Larian's recent hotfix or two hotfixes ago, they did make it so that some quests you no longer have to carry the quest item in your character's personal inventory. I wonder if that applies to the Dribbles the Clown quest. Yeah, the Druid's Grove is really cool because, especially because of the Kaga thing, there's a lot of cool things that you can do in the Druid's Grove. It's just, it's just a slower part of the game, and after you've played it a million times, you don't want to, like, go through all the dialogue anymore. The talk with Neddy, then you gotta have the Druids that stop you from going into the one part, you know what I'm saying? This gets old. Spending two years in early access burnt me out on most of Act 1. I was feeling that way a little bit on my first run, but for some reason I kind of like Act 1 again. Whatever comes, I'm ready. On my first run, I was so... Like, the anticipation of seeing a new area was so high. That's part of the reason why I peaked the mountain... You're not supposed to peak the mountain pass until you finish the Druid's Grove quests. But I peaked the mountain pass because I just had to see it. I was that excited, just because we've been playing Early Access for three years. Oh no, I forgot Scratch. No! But yeah, I do remember on my first run, my Let's Play series, like wanting to kind of rush through things just so I could get to Act 2 or at least the Mountain Pass. I don't feel that way anymore though. I feel like I've spent so much time in the city now that I'm actually quite excited to be back in Act 1. You lost Damon in your Dark Urge playthrough? Poor guy. Which way should I go? Maybe I should go this way. Yeah, let's go this way. Going all the way back down here. Sorry, guys. You ever had a Minthara run? Yes, I had Minthara in my group on my Tactician run. Camp supplies are so abundant. Is this a redundant mechanic? You know, uh, somebody brought this up the other day. You can actually, if you play custom mode, I think you can control how many camp supplies you need to rest. I wonder if you boost that all the way up, if it would actually be a challenge. But I think the camp supplies redundancy still serves a purpose, even if it's boring, to gather food supplies. I think the time investment that it takes picking up food and going through the long rest process, I think that's necessary for this game, instead of just like letting us click a button and you're just like long rest done. I think part of the part of the sacrifice of doing the long rest and gathering food is the time investment, and therefore it kind of encourages you to want to not long rest as much and conserve some spell slots. I don't know. It's kind of like, I think there's a debate to be had between, you know, there's certain game mechanics that we get rid of because we think it will be better if we don't have them, but then we get rid of them and then like, there's no point in playing the game anymore. <laughs> like some games that abuse fast travel, like there's no point in running around the world. I think it's a mechanic that we think we want, but a lot in a lot of cases it makes the game worse. You guys know what I'm talking about mechanics like that? I personally, I th I'm good with the camp supplies, even though it's not fun, you know, going through the, the whole process anymore. I think it, I think it serves its purpose. We, we focus like too over the years. I feel like games have gotten way too convenient. We focus way too many on convenient, way too much on convenience factors, and 
I think it's shown that a lot of the times convenience factors end up making games not as good. So that's why you see some games going back to like more hardcore RPG elements these days. All right. Um, what's the quickest way to get in here? How should I do this? We want to go kill Barabbas real fast. You guys know what I mean by that? I'm probably not articulating it well, the conversation that I'm trying to have with you guys, but. Going to camp also allows story dialogue. True, yeah. What's the big criticism? I have overall a BG3. Um, initially, it was the romance system, but I think after a few patches, I think it's much better now. Um, outside of that, no dwarven companions. Where's my dwarven companions? That's actually kind of a big deal to me. All right. Um, I'm trying to think how I want to do this. Do I have invisibility with one of these characters? Got to sneak around and disable this shit. You know what I'm saying? Biggest complaint is once it's over. True. That is bullshit. That is that is bullshit. I agree. Damn, these things hit pretty hard in outer mode. What the hell? Why did that hit me so hard? Assume nothing. Bless. Oh my god. Let me give an old man a heart attack. Elsin and Minthara need a quest to do in Act 3. Yeah, I think there's a lot of criticisms that you can have of Act 3. A lot of them make sense. But like at the same time, the act is so big and has so much. It just gets to a point where it's like, yeah, Larian could have done this and done this, but like, holy shit, they already did so much. Because Act 3 is such a great act, in my opinion. It is so good. Maybe, maybe what Larian could have done in Act 3 is maybe they could have taken away certain content to then add other content that a lot of us are requesting. Act 3 is just such a good time, man. There's so many cool areas. The city is just phenomenally well done. I would have liked Gortash and Orin's quest to be a little bit longer. Like, their individual quests in the city, that would have been nice. Felt like they went by too quick. It was like... I did their one quest, and all of a sudden I'm at the end part of their quest, and they're such big, big parts of the story. Action, not reaction. Nice. But there's limitations to what a studio can do, you know? Objective noted. Feels a little disjointed, do you think? Act 3 is choice paralysis. Yeah, I did feel that. I did feel that. I agree. Is that a bad thing, though? Is that a personal problem, or is it a, ba is it a bad game design? Maybe a bit of both. Onward. Yeah, I don't know. I still say Act 3 is my favorite act. I don't know if it would be the same if I played the game fresh and Act 1 was new to me. It might change. Maybe Act 1 would be my favorite, but Act 3 was just... I loved it, man. The Undercity was just one of the coolest parts of an RPG I think I've ever experienced. It's a lot of cool shit. And just being able to see Baldur's Gate, you know created by a modern day company I thought was pretty spectacular.
I wonder if I can just punch my way into this. It's sturdy. I don't know if I can do enough damage. No, I can't. Lockpick it. Hey, Feral, what's up? Act 3 is my favorite because it's fun having the freedom. Yeah, yeah, I agree. That, that kind of ties back into that choice paralysis. But, like, it can be a good thing, too, because there's so many different things that you can do. I guess it just depends on the player. My big criticism is no real penalty for abusing tadpole abilities. I agree. Yeah, good point. Good point. That was something that a lot of us in early access were convinced was going to be a major, major story like thing that you really had to like never use a tadpole even once if you wanted to like not suffer the consequences of having tadpoles. But then it turns out really at the end of the game is the only time you have to make the serious decision with the tadpoles. Becoming half a lith, it doesn't really do that much. It just makes you more powerful. There's no like negative consequence to it, really, unless you're RPing. But like I, I was under the impression when we first played Baldur's Gate 3 that like even using the tadpole options in dialogue was going to be like a serious thing. And it turns out to not really be much. It turns out to not really mean much at all. So I think that's a fair criticism of the tadpole system, for sure. Something over there. I'm not fitting through that tiny hole. You don't like the faces getting up yucky. Is it normal for BG to not have post endgame content? I think it's very normal for RPGs not to have post endgame content. It would be nice to have something though, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be nice to go to like a gladiator arena or something to be able to run around the city? Although the city kind of gets destroyed. Spoiler alert. I don't know. Then we're like. I don't think it's. I don't think games have to do post endgame content or RPGs don't have to. Um, wait, do I put Susser Bark in here? Oh, I forget what I put in here. Hold on. Okay, all right. Susser Bloom. Nice. Disappointed that it was impossible to side with Orpheus and his monks after Act 2. I know what point you're talking about, yeah. I mean, you can side with Orpheus. You know that, right? I, I think I know what you're talking about, though, earlier on in the game. You never use the tadpoles, you find them useless. The tadpole powers are, are so good. They're so powerful, having like fly and all those extra actions. The bark is for the master world weapon. Okay, all right. Yeah, if you guys are talking about the part where you have the... Yeah, if you attack the emperor, it's game over. Yeah, you're right. But at the end of the game, you can side with Orpheus. And it's not game over. Fly is so good. Yeah, having four four characters, all of them having fly from the tadpole is so good. So, you literally can reach any opponent in any battle at any time. Powerful. And Avernus DLC, that would be incredible, wouldn't it? Not to mention, if you use the Alithid dialogue options, you can talk your way through pretty much any any dialogue situation that the game puts you into, which is also pretty powerful from an RP perspective. You certainly don't need to use the tadpole powers, though. Definitely not a necessity, but... Without delay. I don't know why I'm sneaking. Quiet. This way. Did you guys watch the um I gotta admit, I'm now a speedrun fan. Speedrunner fan. I pretty much have never watched a speedrun, maybe of one game my entire life. It just never was really like content that I cared that much about. But I watched the Baldur's Gate 3 speedrun thing where Larian did the charity event. Uh, I believe May was the name of the... I think her YouTube channel is also called May. Anybody know May's YouTube channel? Um, May is the character who did the speedrun. And it was pretty cool. It was a lot of fun watching it. It was pretty cool to me because it wasn't just glitches and like discovering glitches. 
It was also like taking advantage of some pretty cool game mechanics to speed things up, like taking advantage of the weight mechanics in this game and transforming into a bear and jumping from a high area. I thought it was pretty cool. So you know what? I am now a Baldur's Gate 3 speedrun community fan, okay? Symbol. I don't know about those sex percentage things though. That might be a little bit out of my uh I don't even know what that what that means. Is it like you speed run to, to bang a character? Is that is that what those mean? I have no idea what they mean. All I see is sex percentage runs. I and I don't even know what any of that means at all. I haven't clicked on a video yet. Try a speed run with Gal and Super Jump. You guys want me to enter the speedrunning community? Show my dominance. PG3 speedrun is a bunny simulator. Yeah, but here's the thing. The, the cool thing about the speed, the speed runners, the ones that figure things out, you have to figure out a lot of shit. You have to figure out, like, there's a lot of things that you got to be creative with. And it's not just like, obviously, when you watch someone do it, it looks like they're just bunny hopping everywhere. But like the exact path that you choose and certain items that you have to pick up from certain characters, like, it's pretty incredible that people figure that out. Speed run to bang. Yeah, that might be a little bit out of my... Uh, out of my content interest, but I will support the overall speed runs, okay? Maybe we'll host a speed run competition on the channel one day, okay? This is so much easier with the minute. Wait, where's the Minotaur? I was about to say, the Minotaur comes with me. <laughs> it's, stand it's all the way back here. What the hell are you doing, brother? Where am I? What? Whoa! Oh my god, so far away. Really? Really now? Wow. Okay. Alright, we got time. We got all the time in the world. Speedrun to sex. You saw someone get Lazel to give it up in seven minutes? That's funny. Pick up the Featherfall boots. I forget where they even are. I know they're somewhere in the tower, right? I love when I take the uh, the role of one of these spore animations, because people come in that don't know that you can actually animate characters with Sovereign Glut, and they have no idea like what I'm playing, or they think I'm running a mod. Magic chest on the patio? Okay, alright. I'll try to try to remember to get those. Or a Minotaur? Well, if the Minotaur can't make this jump up here, I might be serving the Minotaur at the Krusty Wolf Tavern tonight. But I want the Minotaur to stomp Bernard. Right in the face. Looks like a mod if you see it. Yeah, if you don't know that you can do it in the game, you think somebody's playing a mod. Felt the city siege section and endgame could have been more longer and more complex with tactical decision making. Okay, alright. Hopefully I can get this guy on the elevator. I think he just appears though if you... Now that he's here, he might just appear when I ascend. I think that's what I had to do with the boulette. I can't remember what Bernard's legendary action was. Um, where's that damn balcony? Is that on a different floor? Oh, I think it's right here. Oh wow, I'm really high up right now. Everybody out. Everybody out.
How long can you have the big boy? Um, until you leave the Underdark, basically. Until you go to Grimforge. You can't bring it to Grimforge with you. And you can't bring it to the surface world, either. I think, I mean, it would be fun to bring, bring, bring it to the surface, but... At the same time, it definitely would be too overpowered. Did I already pick up these boots? I really don't even need them though. Where are the hell? Where are the freaking other fall boots? Ooh, I should pick up some of this though. This will do. We're not gonna read a thing that Bernard wants us to read. Forget, I do want to pick up ingredients because you get the recipes. If any of you guys want to do the Bernard part the right way, although there's no right and wrong. Um, you want to make sure you read every single book in this tower that you can. Every single book, read it. just attacked you I think the Suster affects the animated armors yes that's why I'm carrying it on my character because I'm gonna throw it at a couple of them it's a cool little strategy that you can do here we go Alright, now I have Featherfall boots in case we need Featherfall. I'm gonna put them on. I don't need them at the moment. Alright, let's go fight Barabbas. guys make room for the minotaur hashtag save Bernard out of my way I'm not interested in riddles. An unbeknownst command by fools that would intrude. Now steel shall ring. False tongue will speak no more. Bring it on, robot. Oh, shit. Leaping static. Bernard can fire leaping static at the first foe that attacks at each round. 3 to 24 lightning damage. Strike an enemy with lightning Three more bolts will leap from target Electri and as many as three other characters within 20 feet. You bastard, Bernard. You bastard. I am fury. I am death. I could have done this way better, but oh well. Shit, man, I don't know if I want to attack right now, because that's pretty... All three of us are around here. I think I will, though. 
85% chance. I think I can survive a couple hits, right? Can I throw Bernard? That'd be pretty funny. Been nice to knock Bernard off right there. Let's cut with fire, baby. This dude has insanely high defense. I have advantage and only 36% chance of hitting. That's crazy. That's downright crazy, man. Dr. Smith, thank you for the prime. Appreciate it. Didn't realize he was a boss. Yeah. Yeah, he's definitely a boss. He's got a legendary action. Mini boss. Michelle. Crazy high defense this guy has. Pretty insane. All of them have high defense. Standing near a statically charged Bernard takes 2 to 16 lightning damage each turn. You can't take reactions. Really, Bernard. Really.
Oops. Why'd I do a level three? Damn. Really now? Really now? Uh, Suster Blooms, I don't believe that they work when you leave the Underdark, so you can't use this strategy in other areas of the game. Except for the Underdark. Without a Cadaver. Works in camp. They wither outside. Yeah. Hey, Sir Nunes. Need to stop doing all that spore haste nonsense. It's funny. True. True, brother. Critical. Oh my god, Sovereign Glut's about to die. No! Sovereign Glut will not die. Not enough movement. You gotta be shitting me. Are you serious right now? Let's toss to out a little heal here. There you go, buddy. For a minute, I had a little bit of a scare there. I was, I was playing Divinity Original Sin 2 the other day. I'm working on a uh, on a beginner's guide video because I feel like there's a lot of players that are going to be coming over to that game from BG3. They're going to be so lost because DOS 2 can be pretty overwhelming, more overwhelming than BG3. But since I was playing the other day for a minute, I just thought, am, am, I, am I allowed to use a heal on Sovereign Glut? Because you guys know if you heal undead in DOS 2, it actually hurts the undead. The Glut's not undead anyways, but... I had a little moment in my head right there, in case you guys were wondering. Time to strike. I don't think any of you guys were wondering, though. This is your end. Yeah. Dry DOS Let's 1? Go. Yeah, I think I will sometime. I think I will. That's a lot of damage. Minotaurs are powerful. Nice little 
This is no silver sword, but that chair leg may be a useful weapon. I love little secrets like that in BG3. I wish there was more of those. Like you break the chair, you get a special weapon out of it. So technically I could use this, like you guys were talking about on my monk, and then I could dump strength. Is this a monk weapon? I think it is, right? I could dump strength and boost up my dexterity. How did you get the Minotaur? You just have to befriend a Sovereign Glut in the Mykonid village. And um, once you get him on your team to go attack the Dwergar, he has an ability called Animate Spores, and you get to animate one creature that you killed in the Underdark, a monstrosity creature. Use as a jump stick? Nice. Nice. Yeah, I think even putting it on, like... Yeah. Sure. Thanks, Jackie. It is a monk weapon? Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't need it right now, because I already have 18 strength, but we're going to hang on to it, and maybe I'll do a little respecking or something like that. I already have to respec, because Karlak is screwed up right now. I have an odd number, because I didn't get the hag's hair. Onward. Do 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 Light of creation. Chance to stun the wielder unless it's a construct. I wish there was more like this is actually kind of like a hard quest to figure out especially if you don't pay attention to like the readings and the nice, I wish nice. there was more complicated quests like this one in the game it probably is we just haven't figured them out yet Lucky. banana thank you for the one dollar super chat I appreciate it Totally miss the basement. It's easy to miss. You got to put on that ring that Bernard has. I guess you don't actually have to cast the light cantrip, but once you put the ring on, it reveals that secret button. And then you can get down into the basement, and there's some good stuff down here. Got a little staff coming up here. Where can't be electrocuted. Grants resistance to lightning damage. It could be pretty cool to put on my lightning cleric. Then I could just cast lightning down on top of me. Yeah. Be awesome. So many scrolls down here too. Crazy. Unbelievable amount of scrolls. Blants. Plus grants an additional 1d4 to saving throws and weapon attack rolls, an additional 2d4 to spell attack roll. Yeah, I'm excited for you, Jackie. DOS 2 is such... I think most people that play BG3 are also going to enjoy DOS 2, Divinity Original Sin 2, even though it is a step back in terms of, like, voice acting, cinematics, and things of that nature. I think most players would still enjoy it because it's a really high quality game but my god it's an overwhelming game when you first play it like there's no like official class system it's not really explained that well so many this it's just so many things to be confused by in that game in the beginning but once you get through fort joy fort joy is the big thing that the early part of dos 2 if you can get through that you can get through the entire game once you get through fort joy which is act one and you're you're good to go and then you start learning the mechanics and how things work but it can be pretty overwhelming. At least I felt overwhelmed when I first started it. Alright, let's go to... I think we're ready to go to Grimforge. Do, 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 do. You guys don't want to fight Grim tonight? Banana, thank you for the $5 super chat. It's actually possible to equip the club in your offhand so that you can use your regular attacks with just your fist. Then dump strength and go to town. Cool. 
And then I also have just my regular unarmed attacks that I can do without it anyways. Good to know. You guys want Grim? You only want Grim because you know that I almost wiped on it last time. You guys want to watch me fail. I know how you guys are. All right, let's um, let's take a little nappy poo. Eager for battle. Dos two allows for much more diverse builds. Yeah, for sure. I think there's a lot of I think there's a lot of strength that Dos two has over BG three, and also vice versa too. Proceeding. I think like the perfect game ever. This is why I'm excited for Larian's next game. The perfect game. Well, if they do a D and D game, then they won't be able to mix systems, but. Perfect game ever will be a mix between BG3 and DOS2, like the best of both worlds. Kaga is long. I don't even know what, what did I do with Kaga? Did I even go to the Druid's Grove? I don't even remember, to be honest with you. I don't think I did. I don't think I even talked to Nettie on this run. That's okay. I don't feel like going there. Kaga can live. I like Kaga. She's nice. She's a nice woman. Nice Mundell 3. That'd be pretty cool. You're not a big fan of action points? I prefer action, bonus action, and movement system. I think one reason why some players may... I, I think a nice... I think you could mix both of those systems and make it really good. Because BG3 can be a little bit boring at times. Because, like, you can really only do one thing on your turn. And then DOS 2 can be a little bit annoying when you have to like, use your action points to move and things like that. But at the same time, in DOS 2, you can do like three or four different attacks per round. Um, I think that makes it a little bit more exciting for many players. I think each has their own pluses and minuses. Did I do everything in the Underdark? I think I did, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay. You like the green tea in DOS 2? I didn't discover... Well, I think you only get green tea in Act 3, right? I didn't discover it till the end of the game, though. Damn, that shit's powerful. DOS 2 has a lot of exploits that you can do in that game. Almost too much, in my opinion, because it, there was, like, one point when I was playing, like, I didn't know if I was playing, like... I didn't know how the game was designed at one point. I think BG3 actually does pretty good with the player freedom without being overkill. DOS 2 has so many exploit mechanics. Which I think a lot of people enjoy. But sometimes I like to feel the rules and parameters of a game. I thought DOS 2 was a little bit overdone in that regards. The green tea, the never-ending resurrection scrolls. You just, I guess you can just flee combat in this game at any time too. Sometimes it's hard to find like... Where do you draw the line between player freedom? Let's have a look. You guys want Bual? I don't think it's worth it. It's gonna that fight's so easy. It's just gonna the fishies are never a problem, and I'm not gonna get that much XP. It's not like I'm gonna be level six by the time I get. Let's go to Grim. Let's get let's get a real battle, okay? I'm ready for the Grim battle. Damn, it's good to be alive. This is my first CRPG I've ever played. I'd like to play more. Rusty, I encourage Divinity Original Sin two. That should be your next game, okay? I encourage you to play it. Larian Studios makes CRPGs unlike any other company out there. Let's march. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. Um, oh shit, I should probably <laughs> I should probably go back to the Mykonid colony first, right? Without delay. Recommend Minecraft. Is that a serious recommendation? Are you trolling us? No, I haven't played Divine Original Sin 1. Nope, believe it or not, I haven't. Everybody talks good things about the Wasteland games. Greets you with a harrowing elegy, cheerless as the new moon. You know what? I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna use this right now. My sister got me this. You guys, see this?
Let's see how doofy it looks if I do it while I'm playing. Every year that goes on, the more unhealthy I, I realize this job. This job is so unhealthy for you. I know a lot of you guys probably work like jobs where you're at a computer all day too. But also, when you work for yourself, you tend to work a lot more than just 40 hours. Oh, there's no way I can do this. Nope, I can't do it. Can you guys tell that I'm pedaling right now? Uh, it's just so on guys. I everybody get healthy. Okay. I, I'm going to start changing my life around a little like sitting at a computer all day. It's so freaking bad for you. I do have a standing desk, but really it's just a sedentary jobs are just so bad. So I'm trying to take control of my life and get ahead of that before, before I'm too old and it's too late. Can you guys tell that I'm doing it? <laughs> this is awkward, man. The Dwergar are slain. The rot has been purged. The music shifts. Still melancholic, but now streaked with hope. Do you hear a new harmony? Shit, I'm burning calories Sweet. left and right right now. I, Fragrance I name you Peacebringer. Shut the hell up, Spa. You know I don't like you. This Get out of here. Like bad news. All right, I'm done doing this. This is weird. Let me get my reward. Oh, wait, does it? Oh, I got a. Oh, no, I got my reward. Let's go get it real fast. It looks like you just can't sit still. What do I do for work? I've been a full time content creator for like three and a half years now. So you're looking at it right now. I mean, obviously, I don't stream that much every week. I only stream like 16 to 20 hours, but you know, doing video work and things all that's all it's all computer work. Trust no one. And it's just not good for you. Wait till you get my age. Up to. Uh, early access was Act One minus the Mountain Pass. They added a little bit of content as as early access went on. What happens if I just leave the Gluck quest unfinished? Carlac incoming. The tumor is excised. The Dwega are dead. Here I break ground. From the dark will a mighty circle rise. My song will fill the grotto. Death doer. The grotto may sustain but one sovereign. He wants me to kill Sovereign Spa. What do you guys think? Of glut, there may be no Spore. Eliminate the other sovereign. You'd turn on Spa, who gave you shelter? A fate it has earned. My circle long suffered while the Dwerga flourished. I sang to Spore for help, yet it cowered in the grotto and let my people be slaughtered. Choose, smooth mind. Help me grow a mighty circle and reap the reward, or protect the precious Paltrum. 
as it waits for the circle of glut to devour it whole. Make it worth my while. A tune of division. Yours to sing. Three scrolls in all. Keep your allies steady and your foes fearful. Melodies of peace, even in war. A gift of circle glut. What do you guys think? Should I kill Spa right now? Get my revenge for my first run? You can wait to do Grim and Crush bosses until 7. Yeah. I just kind of feel like doing it right now, though. What do you guys think? Spa must answer for his crimes. End him? Okay. Alright, let's get our revenge. Why not? Spa's time is done. Come. Okay. Will sing the age of glut begin. I think the problem last time was that I let Spa live. You know, I used a non-passive damage. On this run, I'm murdering his ass. All right, let's do it. Can only live once. No time to waste. Assume nothing. Proceeding. Kill Glut for the buff and then steal the caustic bands. Not for communal uses. What'd you just say to me, Gnome? Huh? Huh? Blood has been spilled on holy earth. Here we go, folks. Here we go. Glut doesn't got any legendary actions. Nah, he doesn't. He doesn't even know. What doesn't even know what day of the week it is. Dude doesn't, doesn't have a clue. Damn, I scored really well in the initiative, didn't I? You know what I should have done? I got an idea. I got an idea. Uh oh, people keep getting involved in the battle. God, I hate when it does that. It doesn't let you throw what you're trying to throw. Easy. We always side with Spa. Thanks, Rob. Focus on Spa. Okay. Do, 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 do. See ya. 
I'm actually going to back up a little bit. I'm trying to get these guys to walk through this area. I'm just testing a few things out here. Chilling in the spa. You will fall and in uh, they are vulnerable to fire, but... I do have fireball with shadow heart, but that's okay. What's up, Shark? What? Uh, no, the Hobgoblin Trader, I don't think it's involved with this fight. Damn, there goes a battle master die. This would be pretty funny. Should I knock him off? Nah, we're not gonna do that. I want to keep Glut alive, actually. Because we're doing his quest right now. Out with you, rotted spirit. Be arisen. Uh oh. Hey spores. <laughs> and PTSD, man. When characters walk over the wet surfaces, they don't become wet themselves. The Shit, there's more mushrooms than I thought there was. The I have to drop a fireball. Oh, that's so cool. That's my first time seeing that right there. Did you guys see that? It's called deflect missiles. That was really, really cool. You sovereign spa. Biatch. See ya. Objective noted. All right, let's talk to Mr. Glut now. Eager for battle. Probably should end our concentration on spirit guardians. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. Feel satisfied. I think I got my revenge. One true way. Killed a few of his family members. Took him out. Let's see what Mr. Glut has to say about that. King of kings I am. Let this place be sacred. Circle Glut takes Hey Mike, what's up? My spawn will rise and sing of your might. Okay. You will be called Kingbringer. Oh, I like that Take a lot. 
my gift of song. Cry it low or loud, but cry it proud, Kingbringer. Mm -hmm. So it is certain, and so you are known. Spore's old song falters in the Myconids' minds, swallowed by a new rhythm. The song of glut. You have served well, Kingbringer. But our work is not done. Spore was a coward. But in one thing it was correct. The drow near must die. You didn't know he was chill like that? Yeah, this guy's pretty cool. Coronation gift. Look, I'm all for killing him, but what's in it for us? You guys ever seen the glut romance before? It's pretty crazy. My oh my, you're a bloodthirsty one. It is the circle that thirsts. Name me Bringer King. Must slay. Go, cross the lake and kill the drow. All right, I haven't done that in a while. Winter's clutches. When the wearer deals cold damage, inflict two turns of encrusted with frost. Too bad I don't really deal cold damage, but okay. Sure. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. All right. Sovereign Glut is the new owner of the Myconid colony. And apparently I can't loot anybody here because he must, he's taking credit for all my kills. That's bullshit. All right. Do I have enough spell well, slots? Well, well. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's head to Grimforge now. Let's head to Grimforge. Unless you guys really want me to do the Bu'al fight. Maybe I should Bu'al. no time to waste. Careful, I bind. All right, I'll boo all real fast. I'll boo all. I'm kind of curious how much XP it's going to give me. You guys are weird, aren't they? Well, I'll be quick. Yeah, it will be. Let's drop a call lightning and it's pretty much over. Um, what's the quick... What the hell? Is there not a fast travel over near the... Hmm. You know what's funny? Is Larian said in their one update that they... They divided... The minimap into categories. I feel like Underdark should have its own... Label here, you know what I mean? Like, they say Underdark, but it should have its own category. I don't know what the quickest way to get here is. Five hundred XP you're thinking they feel? Well is just fun. You guys want me to sacrifice a Starion to bull I mean a Starion is uh undable. I have I already have a cleric in my group, so can't be any more horrifying than their Mind Flayer romance. I actually enjoyed their Mind Flayer romance a lot. The more tentacles, the better, you know. I don't see a problem with it. Dead drow. Fall injuries from the looks of it. What's this? What's this? Coming for you, fishies. Can you sacrifice a hireling? I don't know. What if you had a hireling? Good question. Not sure. Someone in chat probably knows, though. Uh oh. There we go. 
Oh, he's a bit risky. This is probably the most missed area in all of Act 1. Simply because... Let's go in. You can't see it. How delicious. Efficiency and wisdom saves is actually not too bad. Does a cleric already have it? My favorite. <laughs> I like the sound effects down here. It's funny. These guys are cute. Toy bulbs are so good. I hate to use one right here, but I'm going to anyway. They're already... Too heavy to throw. What? What the hell was I throwing right there? Minus seven HP. You guys think I can la I can survive this? Now we don't gotta jump. Let me come down like this. No! These guys are level what? Are they level five? Level two. Damn. Check this out. You guys ready for this? Watch. It's such a monk is such a fun class. Just love it so much. Buar. Did I just see that? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Which jackass just killed Scratch? Oh, you're lucky, buddy. You're lucky. Let's go. Gotcha.
Oh, what the hell? I thought I turned it off. I will ascend. No time to waste. Seventy five XP. Eager for battle. Mm. Onward. Have you ever played The Sims? Yeah, back in the day when I was, man, long time ago, when I was a kid. I'll be closing down level six. Yeah, once I wipe Grimforge, I guess if I'm real close to level six, then maybe I'll just grind out the XP before I take on Grim. Certainly not going to get to level seven, though. Take heed. I see a trust. Uh oh, something tells me if I fail this disarm, I might get knocked off into the darkness. It will happen. When the wearer heals a creature, it automatically disengages and won't trigger opportunity attacks. Get as many levels as I can get. True. We'd love Larian to add a fifth party slot. You can download a mod for that. I'm probably going to start dipping into... I keep saying this all the time, but I do have plans on jumping into mods in the near future and all of you guys were, that feel like it's stressful to deal with mods I'll try to make that process as easy as possible for you after I go through it myself lies within. built the ice staff yet? no I don't think I even care about it to be honest I mean I have before I haven't done it on this run though okay Head to Grimforge. What now? Um. I wonder. Yeah, let's head to Grimforge. Really, might create mods. Does that mean that you do delay? I'm wondering if I should take a long rest. Honestly, like, I think one of the scariest parts of Act 1 on Honor Mode is taking this boat ride. If you fight the Dwergar, you can get knocked off. Like, all of your characters can get knocked off the boat, and it can be a TPK. What's next? So let's take a long rest. Let's be fully powered for that. Better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Thanks, Wade. Appreciate that. Oh, you guys want the ice staff for the monk? Is what you're saying? It's a good, a good monk weapon. Okay. Well, hold on. Let me think. Did I kill? I killed Philro. I killed Dorn. Oh, I think I do have all the ice stuff. Hold on. Let's see. Um. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The problem is I don't know what they're called, and I have so much crap in my inventory right now. Let's see. This is probably going to piss me off. I'm going to get frustrated. I don't know where anything is here. Okay, I see one piece right here. See another piece. I don't know if I have the third one.
Anybody know what the third one's called? They're all icy. Okay, there it is. Okay. Never thought about it with the monk class. When dealing cold damage, the wielder deals an additional one cold damage. Well, I'm not going to be dealing cold damage. Dealing cold damage with a spell possibly inflicts chilled upon the target. You get Ray of Frost. Is this really a good monk weapon? Why is this a good monk weapon? Maybe a Way of the Four Elements monk, right? Ray of Frost is like one of the worst cantrips in the game, damage-wise. Good for slowing targets down, though. And how am I going to be dealing cold... I mean, I guess the damage is pretty good, but, like, I'm usually doing unarmed attacks with a tavern. I bet you this is probably better for non-tavern non brawler monks. 1d8 plus 1d4. Yeah. Okay. So you guys like the damage output? Oh, shit, I'm getting kind of low on camp supplies. Magic concealed the true nature of Flump's mating rituals. <laughs> Clever, almost. That's funny. What if I should respect Carlac? Nah, who cares? We're fine. Action. We're Action. fine. We don't gotta respect. Combo with the gloves. I haven't tried that before, but yeah, I've heard good things about that. The only mods I've been interested in are the ones that add more subclasses. Probably a ton of them. I'll scratch up here. Very nice. Let's do aid. And here we go. Wobbles on the lake's murky waters. The man attacks with staff, then two bonus with hands. Get some crazy ass damage done slow. I don't know if that would out. Yeah, man. I'll have to compare the damage numbers. I feel like I'm probably better off using uh, unarmed still for the main attacks. We giving Grim a visit? Yes, sir. I can make it there. I think I can. I'm 30 right now. You! What are you doing on Gex Raft? Where's Gek? Who are you? We're gonna try to talk our way out of this one. Damn. What happens if I reach out to Dwergar's parasite? Does that work? I don't think it does, because let's let me click it. Your parasite stirs briefly, Yeah, it doesn't work. Then goes still. The Dwergar is not infected. Uh-oh. Alright, let's try an intimidation check. In the name of the absolute, you will let me pass. Okay, I think I can do this. Oh, shit. Try it again. All right, all right. There we go. No reason to get your tongue in a twist. No, I didn't get branded. Well, no. come on. Let's get you to shore. You'll need to report to the sergeant. No boots. You lot, keep I'm giving trophy. that guy my boots. I'm heading back with this one. 
You continue forward in silence until the lights of a camp twinkle through the murk. Oh yeah, if you play as a Dwergar, you get some interesting dialogue here. That's pretty cool. I don't know, Founded Pants. I'll keep an eye out for it, though. Okay, here we go. I gotta go pee real fast. Be right back. Sideways. We've got a welcoming party. You shithead! Time you showed up. We got trouble. Spit it out. Sergeant finally choked on true soul near's prick. Drugno. The twat soul caused a rockfall. Trapped tighter than a ring on a fat finger. You're shitting me. You pay up? That's the trouble. He's got the gold on him. Sergeant's arm is falling off with all the gnome slaves she's been beating. Who's the whom, Greyman? Another slave for the dig. Call me slave again. And I'll feed you your own stomach. Oh, this one's feisty. Thrin's gonna knock the snot right out of him. Wow, perfect timing. I came back right when the dialogue response was required. Don't worry about what I'm here for. I'll be on my way. Aye. One of those absolute crackpots. Found the hoon sailing Gex skiff. That's so. I... <sighs> you feel the slightest of stirrings in your head. The Dwergar is not infected, yet your minds resonate. <sighs> I'll be... You ain't shitting. Felt the tingle. Your twat soul chum owes us a load of coin. You want through? Make a donation. I'm not giving you a single coin. Unclog your hole. Just shitting around. But I'm warning you. That twat soul ain't settled up soon. There'll be hell to pay for the lot of you cult buggers. Hi, guy. Thank you so much for the channel membership. We can take Appreciate hand. that. Sounds like a lot of wasted effort. Thanks, man. Gotta pass a wisdom check. All right, so let's see. What should we do here? Should we just go fight near right now? Did I get the Dwergar on my side? I remember last time the near fight wasn't too bad. Put him down pretty fast. I can't remember what his legendary action was though. Like you can't use magic attacks against him or something. I can't remember. Who built this? I don't quite remember. They've let it rot for ages. Go this way though. Let me get a couple bombs. Could use the room powder bomb. Displaying a drow corpse in the underdark. Someone's trying to make a statement. Such a cool area down here. I'll give it a try. Quickly then. <laughs> Take off my pajamas. Mm. What's that? Hey, Larian. If you fail your perception check. Wait, that was a perception check too, I think. We have another way of getting in. If you can't find the button. Favor kill the gnomes. I'll be safe. My first honor mode near the near fight nearly did you in. Oh shit! Well, you're making me a little bit nervous now. 
have a ten day on your own. The folk need something to be desired as well. Unless you're here to kick some stiffs lakeside, I suggest you bugger off. Grimwork, did you kill them? Nah, Rockfall smashed them. Can't have them stinking up the place. <laughs> the half that weren't crushed are digging the true soul out of the wreckage. I hope you're checking them for loot first. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. These trash don't have nothing on them but rocks. Rocks. Skull, hi guy, thank you. Inspect the corpses. Easy dub. I saved Barkus. You spot a shiny trinket on one of the corpses. Okay, let's do a sleight of hand check. Reach for the trinket. Holy crap. Wow. I like how I'm wearing barbarian gear. Quit sniffing around. You're starting to get on my nerves. Nerves. All right, I'm going to finally put the loot away, okay? We're going to hide it. There you go. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. Did I pick up the satchels? Smoke fire satchels? I did. I have three of them right now. Maybe I should get the Dwergar on my side for this. I think I'm gonna let that guy live. I like this guy's design. Really cool looking character. Action, not reaction. Save Walbrin. Drum is better. Why are you guys saying nerves? Now let me have a chat with these guys real fast. Seen her run with a barrel under her arm. Just a small one, but enough to blow the drow out. Someone should grab it. Slaves are never gonna manage with pickaxes. Can't go chasing maybes. The sergeants are ticket in. Oh, would you look at that, Kerr? Someone's having a listen. A shiver runs through you. Your mind is awash with ancient resentments. True soul, no less. What do you think, Kerr? Uh, should we take Nia's debt off her? Don't be absurd. I hate these true soul cultists. Yet you got that twat soul stench. If I didn't know better, Where I'd effect? say a mind flayer shot a worm in your brain. Should split your head open and poke around in there if you lot don't pay up. I heard you talking. I want near out, and you have a lead. I ain't parleying with more twat souls. Just want my coin. Your blade ready, Kerr. Drop it, Brithvar. You chop this one, and Nia won't pay a damn copper. Fine. Spill what you want, true soul, before I choke on your stench. A stench. Ridiculous. I'm no more a true soul than you are. The shiver returns. This time it's colder. Sharper. The stench don't lie. You're one of them. Okay, yeah, we gotta pass a little check here. Ooh, we have a Githyanki response. I wonder what that would result in. Um, let me try it. That stench is just psionic resonance, a remnant of our ancestors' enslavement by the Olyphus. The slightest of breezes slips through your skull. Could be you're right. Ooh. Something's different with you. How cool is that? In that case, want to earn some gold? Depends. What do you need done? Thrins after the absolute glory. That's why she's got those slaves digging for Nia. But we ain't need glory. Just coin! And Nia's got plenty. Help Thryn free Nia. Mm -hmm. Then you and my chums grind him up. Okay. Whatever the spoils, we'll drop you a fat cut. You in? I'm in. Good. But first, we need to take care of something. You've seen that weird orb I floating about? 
knife it and don't get caught i got caught last time the cult watches through it and we can't risk more twat souls showing up that's what happened you i got caught about get on it you can lead the eye if you try hiding near it i'll follow it'll follow you and lead it towards the oh that's an interesting interesting strategy i like it towards the defaced statue and then yeet it into the lava I asked about a lead and you still haven't answered. Some days back, a slave gnome bolted with smoke powder. Mm -hmm. Handy stuff. Her crew know more than they're letting on. See if you can get him to talk. Now move. Okay. You didn't near the lava. Would that get me in trouble over here, though? That scares me a little bit. I wonder if I can just eat it. What if I can get it over here? To the shadows. Undetected. Unseen. Proceeding. <laughs> so cool. We found some explosives. Let's see if it's enough to clear the cave in. Earthfar mentioned that a deep gnome fled with smoke powder. The gnomes trying to clear the rubble should know more. We agreed to help Brithfar and his group double cross near. First, we need to take out the scrying eye discreetly. Alright, let's go. Come on, Mr. Eye. You little biatch. Come on, buddy. Keep coming. Keep coming. Looks like the eye of Sauron. Objective noted. Come on, buddy. I'm gonna kick his ass right over here. Kick his ass in the back alley, you know what I'm saying? Into the shadows. Come on. This is a cool little strategy. Good stuff, Moogle. Good stuff, my friend. See if it comes in here with me. Oh yeah. Alright. Oh wait, oh, oh it won't come in the door. Really? Really now? What if I threw it into the door? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> ah. Go, biatch. Maggots will be done. Soldier. Come on, Karlak. Show them who you are. No, no. Damn, dude, this thing reduces damage like it's nothing. Thunder vulnerability? Might have to do it in a second. I don't remember these things being that hard to freaking kill, man. What the hell, brother? I wonder if that would work. I think it would. I gotta kill this guy, and I gotta kill him fast, folks. Because we're in big trouble here. We are in big, big doo doo. Careful, I bind. Not taking any chances. Scratch, what the hell you doing, brother? I'm ready. Whatever it takes. If I should take a no. Some rests better than none. See what I can learn. The eyes clobbered. Good work. Time to bust near out and good. Drop it near the rubble when it's time. Flaming arrow or some. Shit, of course I ain't sure. Okay, we're gonna do it without full spell slots. That's fine. It's just near, right? Hopefully, near doesn't kick my ass. What you want, anyway? 
Here to yap or looking to buy. Dry land means fresh stock. I don't remember what his legendary action is, but we gonna find out. Whatever comes, I'm ready. We gonna find out. I talk to the gnomes first. your brothers give me a second last time i tried it with two and it didn't work so we're gonna do three we gonna play it safe An efficient path. buddy scratch you might want to get out of there my friends ah shit wait did it work though gotta be at least 22 damage you stop digging again and I'll bleed you dry you fix this clean up this mess near dies and that goes for novices too <clears throat> There's another bomb around here somewhere. Friends in a what you want anyway. Here to yap or looking to buy. Come back. I know there's the bomb up top. I just didn't want to have to go up there. Bombs work. If you look at the skeletons, you realize they are all clad in this. All right, I'll go back and drop one of those bombs near it. Let me just check up here because I like to use those other bombs for combat if I can.
Just so. Let's hope Nira doesn't kick mass. Wonder if I need fire. Get out of there, boy. Well, hello. Get out of there. Shadow, go up. Go up top, Shadow. No, Starion came down. What are you guys doing? Finally. Worthless slaves. Your incompetence has been my ruin. Nay. Does not fail. Well, for a little swim. Stop. No more innocents will die today, Nier. You care for the weak, true soul. Most curious. Mm hmm. Let's just be honest. I came here on Mykonid Sovereign's behalf. It demands revenge. You heed an overgrown toadstool, yet defy a true soul. Thryn, carve out her heart and serve it to the Rofe. If she indeed is a true soul, let the Absolute save her. I better go to bed. I used to go to bed around midnight. I'd be asleep by like one, but lately I've been like walking into my bed around like two or three in the morning. You so much as touch me, and I'll tear you limb from limb. The absolute guides my hand. You've chosen a battle you cannot win. Shut your shitholes, both of you. You owe my crew a ten days' worth of coin, Nia. And it's time you shell out. Direct your blade at the heretic, Dwergar. You shall have your coin. Uh oh. You're damn right I'll have it. Me and that one, we got a deal. We beat your ass and <laughs> dig the juice out from your carcass. You bargained with this wretch. Bye bye, monk armor. That's How okay. Vexing. Nair is not without mercy, thing. true soul. The rat has given you a chance to earn my favor. Strike him down. Prove your faith. Oh, I didn't even realize that's. I didn't even realize that Scratch picked those bombs up. That makes sense. Okay, let's side with Brithfar and the rebels. Heretics. Let Nier be your end. If you side with Nier, I don't know if you get the same XP, so we're gonna kill Nier. Play's definitely easier when you got some Dwergars on your side, though. Okay, let's see what Nier's got for his legendary action. What a cool looking character. Nier can immediately cast Psionic Visage. Summon three psychic copies of yourself to protect you. As long as one of those copies remain, you are immune to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. Shit. Assuming that those copies... Bitch. I still have the ogre horn too. Ooh. Can I use the ogre horn during the grim fight? They do do bludgeoning damage. They might fall in the lava though. I wonder if they would survive. Has anybody tried ogre horn during grim fight? Did I just get pushed into the lava? No, oh, okay. Well. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. 
Do 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 do. I wonder if he will summon. When he's, I don't think he will. Let's go, baby. May not have a magic missile, but I got two spirit tool weapons. I like to take out psychic copies. Oh. Grandpappy Wolfheart? Why am I a grandpappy? Alright, let's take... Aw, oh, shit, he's back. He's out of hold person already? I didn't even notice that. How do you get out of it? Forty-five. We're not gonna do that. When I hit him right here, he's going to. Let me see if I can disarm him. That'd be super cool. Okay, he's got his copies now. But that's okay. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, you take psychic damage. Okay, I could. What is this, amateur hour? You think- OH SHIT! You guys think I'm worried about a little psychic damage? You're out of your damn mind. Didn't mean to take that opportunity attack though. Oh no! There goes the whole plan. Oh great. Forgot about that nonsense. Dude, these guys have a lot of HP. Oh, shit. White. I don't know if I go that far. All right, we got uh, the guys that are... We gotta attack the dudes that have mind mastery. Why is that dude concentrating? I turned green. Hold on. Who cast Mind Mastery? I'm so confused right now. I thought one of the opponents did. I guess maybe it's because. No, I'm on scratch right now. Scratch. We're gonna hide scratch over there. Dana. Okay. Well, we're out of mind mastery now. Problem is, I don't got anything left. Nier's gonna regenerate all of his bullshit. Oh, nice, I can make it. I like it. Let's go, baby. Here we go. Watch this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Kilnir, he's got 10 HP left. You know what help haste spores? Nice, Aloy, nice. I respect it. 
I respect it. Do, 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 do. Damn, spiritual, my, my spiritual weapons are in the way. They're giving me victory. Funny. Kind of funny. I think it's going to let me do that. Oh, really? He's got one HP left. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I gotta go through another round. Do 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 do. Masters you he turns green. Yeah, but I was attacking with Scratch though. It wasn't mine mastered, so I was wondering why it was like that. Turns green for the entire party. Alright, I just need one hit. I don't think uh I think I might take damage, but I think I still kill him. Let's try it. See ya. To heal or not to heal. I'll heal. These all got horrible initiative. Only got a 10 in dexterity, that's why. Oh shit, that dude survived the lava? Pretty crazy. Stay right there, Scratch. You don't gotta do nothing. Definitely much harder when you don't have the Dwarga on your side. Five percent. Now is not the time. Mir has a thousand gold on him. Holy crap! Can't be unwebbed, entangled, or ensnared, and can't slip on grease or ice, and you get misty step. That's really good. The really good boots right there. Take his head. Sort of screams. I like it. Probably encumbered now. Very, very cool. Gaping wounds. Get some high ground. Is that going to be an opportunity attack? Can't even get up there. You got to be kidding me. Who is a better cleric in the way of healing? Darion or Jester? Who's Jester? Got a heart? Got this jabroni up here. You gotta be kidding me. Probably best boots in the game. You think? I've got it.
don't know if we're gonna make it to Grim tonight, folks. I don't know. If I don't do the Grim fight tonight, the next session will be, um, who died? What the hell? Uh, next session will be Grim, Inquisitor, Wargaz, and then also the start of the Shadowlands. Probably better do all that in one. Time to strike. We'll see. No! Can't make it there. Dead on Hunter's Mark. Start of it. It is what it is. <laughs> My god. How cute, man. How cute. That's funny. Hey, Wind, what's up? Hey, thanks for watching it, though. I appreciate it. It's all good. Lack of knowledge on the haste spores did me over. Won't happen again. Shadow. Shadow's not doing too hot right now. Can't get her out because if you heal her, she just dies. So we're just going to let her die. Shoot down at this little mini me guy right here. What? <laughs> Under their noses. What? Oh my god, come on, game. Really? Am I a joke to you? Dude, Scratch coming in with the MVP. <laughs> Dropping crits left and right. This guy invisible? Oh, oh wow. Gotta be careful, this fight could turn. Of a good weapon, not gonna lie. Your Goral's great sword. Oh, like a sword for losers. On the move. Scratch and shovels MPP. Shindelrin's shit house. You see it? Cock stench had a regular in his skull. All the more reason to clear out. Clan, grab your gear, wipe your asses. Time I scrammed before more pricks from Moonrise Tower. Nice, in. nice. Okay. And the gold you owe me? Someone's gone picking my pockets, you chaff. You want coin? There's plenty of corpses to sack. Very well. I'll rummage what I can. You do that. And the slaves, what about them? Clan property. They come with us. No way we're letting these bastards take those gnomes, right? Set them free, or I will thrash you like I thrash Sneer. Shit. Hey, congrats, Wynn. That's awesome. 
Jor Jorgal's sword was so great that how come he's dead? See? Exactly my point. Does I feel you hit level 10 in Moonrise? God bless. That's crazy. Killing people like these before they leave. Won't hear me argue. Your mouth's got the might to back level it. Level 10 in Moonrise? No pricks. You're off the hook. Scram before I get my senses. I think last playthrough in my honor mode run, I got to level eight. And I I don't think did I get to nine? I don't think I even got to nine in my last playthrough. And I did all the encounters, or most of them. But I didn't do like getting people before they escape and stuff like that. That's a lot of XP. What makes Moonrise Tower such a threat? Your brain going mushy, Jark. That's where those absolute freaks hold up. Goblins, drow, gnolls, even humans. Ain't no one they won't try to turn. The way I hear tell, some prick there calls the shots. The general near called him. And there ain't no way I'm sticking around long enough to meet him. Please. Let us have words. Well, you did it. I shouldn't be surprised considering our history. And yet. You're free. Go on. Free? Yes. I don't know if you've heard, but some of the Iron Hand gnomes, my friend Wolbrin among them, have been taken prisoner in Moonrise Towers. And so, to Moonrise Towers I go. Okay. Let's probe his mind. I don't like the way he's speaking to me right now. Make sure he's not BSing us. I don't have time for this. The Iron Hand gnomes might already have their hands on rune powder. Do you know what the Iron Hand gnomes were doing down here? No. He's lying. You little bastard. And what do you think will happen if the Iron Hand gnomes get their hands on rune powder? What? Um, that is... What do you know about rune powder? Actually... Don't answer that. The little is said about it, the better. Will be no liar. One should touch that stuff. Not Wolverine, and especially not those Iron Hand. You jackals. can't trust anybody in this game, right? And is doable in the colony. You guys are finding XP in places I didn't even know existed. God bless your souls. I think I was seven when I fought Merkel on my first run. Dude hit hard. That was that was rough. First things first, you look exhausted. You should rest at my camp. Certainly not. Damn it. In case you haven't been paying attention, my friend has been taken captive. He needs I suspect me. I'll be rescuing you a third time then. Ha. I was unlucky twice. The odds of it happening again are very slim. Then again, a small rest might be prudent. Uh, give me time to think. Hmm. Hmm. Fine. Show me where to go, and I'll try my luck. Okay. I'll have a better chance of rescuing Wolbrin if I'm out. And, um... Welcome to the camp, my friend. Jelly says, Hey, Wolf, I wiped on Gortash and the Archduke Ceremony on Honor. Ooh, that's a... That's the hardest thing I've ever done. That's a really... Unless you know exactly how to plan for it, that's a really tough fight. You have to fight the st Steel Watch and everything? Damn, that was a risky one to take on in honor mode, but I respect it. I respect the crap out of that. Lazelle romance? She's a monk. Monks don't romance. They're not into that. They're above that. They've achieved the zen. The zen state of mind. They don't need sexual desires. They don't have sexual desires. Not reaction. I got the Misty Step amulet. Hold on, let me see here. Honestly, I should put these on, you know. Let's send these to 
Varian. Put them on my monk. Yeah, that's pretty badass. Damn, they look so cool too. Look at them. Wow, they're like the coolest boots in the game. Holy crap. Get me a pair. I'd wear them. Keep your distance, darling. You know, honestly, I should build up lightning charges on Shadow's Shart. The Shart of Shadow. To go to your camp, he said he was gonna. We're gonna go check out here soon. Oh it's shit, man! I actually have I have a lot more XP than I thought I did. Not for communal you. Really, brother? You said I could loot anything? Let's keep your hands. Really now? Okay, I'm about to start swinging my hammer around recklessly. And if I take out a couple gnomes Wait, in the process, I take them out. Everything's red around here. Bunch of billy ass bullshit if you ask me. I have to kill those dwarves here. You know what? I kill them. No time to dally. Don't have much HP. I have no spell slots right now. Be pretty funny though, wouldn't it? You attacked someone. And Might as well just do it. Time to move. Dude didn't pay me anyways. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna pay me. You're gonna pay the price, my friend. Nice. Perfect. Let's see what these guys got up their sleeve. Probably not much. Oh yeah. They're dead. Tactical. They're dead. 91% chance. 70. 85. 88. So my math was off. See ya. How you doing, buddy? How's things going? Don't mind if I do. My faith will protect me. Time to strike. Don't mind if I do, folks. You gotta be shitting me, man. Really? I can't... <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, shit. What's this guy doing? Oh, what the hell? We got two different dwarven factions here? I don't know what's going on, man. I don't have a damn clue. Be quite frank with you. Really? Okay. All right. Not everyone subs. Not for. Okay. All right, brother. Efficient path. Someone. Getting quite sick, you tell me what I can and can't loot. Getting quite sick of it. No 
of surrender. <laughs> really now. Really now. I feel like I'm playing real time with pause combat right now. It's going so fast. Oh shit, I just why well, you shouldn't go fast in combat. Finally, and do some damn looting in this place. Quickly then. Much XP did I get from that? Do do do. I didn't get no XP. About the previous fight, I can't find. It's too much. To rest. Do 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 do. Wake of some sort, perhaps. Let's have a look. Start the civil war. Hey, Joker, what's up? Good luck on your honor mode run. Robbed him, then accused him of stealing. Scratch got screwed on the butt bite. True. I like killing the Dwergar near the Rofe and Thunderwave them off the edge. You watch the character's numbers fall off the edge and they die when they hit the bottom. You're a sick bastard. You know that? Never gets old. Every sip is liquid gold. It's crazy. I'm telling you, Coca-Cola or Pepsi. Hit me up. We'll work something out. Am I going to use Helsin at all? No, I'm not, Meredy. I think I'm stuck in my ways. I might switch up one of the characters. I could turn Helsin into a cleric if you guys wanted. Maybe if I... I don't think I'm going to do the Shadow Curse quest, though. I think I just want to get through Act 2 and then move into Act 3, do a couple trash mobs, and then beat the game. But maybe I could recruit Helson, but then you have to do the Shadow Curse. I could recruit Helson and turn him into a cleric. That'd be kind of funny. Right? Poor monks. I feel like it'd be pretty damn powerful, but what happens when you come across an enemy that's immune to physical damage? Chuck a Starian out and make Helsin Karlax cleric. It's got a Harper pin, I think that was. Oh, the guild? Wasn't a Harper pin? Oh, that's the Harpers, all right. That's the Harpers, all right, folks. Oh, action, not reaction. One of the greatest factions in all of Faerun. One of the greatest members ever, including Elminster. Elminster used to be in the Harpers. I don't know if he is anymore. I don't think he is anymore. Starting to run a little low on food. And since uh, we're going to be entering Act 3 here soon, I should probably do some looting. Don't you guys think? <sighs> Need 22... Sturdy, oh, it hits. Oh, okay. I think I can do this with Karlak, actually. We put on a... 
You know what? Speaking of the Grim fight coming up, I think I need a two-handed... I think I need a two-handed hammer. I should probably get at some point. Damn, I don't have any good bludgeoning weapons. How dare I? How come I don't have any great bludgeoning weapons? I always have a two-handed bludgeoning weapon. Always do. I'm telling you, man. I don't want to waste a uh -huh. spell slot trying to get that open right now when I can get around another way. Open up. I do have Faith Breaker. I don't know why I didn't see that when I was checking. Okay. How come that didn't show up? Or am I just blind? I think I'm blind. It's right, it's right there. It's right in front of me. Crush is going to be pretty easy by the time I get there. Maybe. We'll see. I mean, I'll be level 6 when I get there. I think that's probably a pretty normal level. Hang on. That's adamantine speckled in there. What's the story? Hammercraft. I didn't get that one from Walking's Rest. I could go back and get it. I don't think I need it though. I just need one. You just need like one two handed bludgeoning weapon just to like break down walls and also have a weapon to switch to in the heat of the moment. You can't do like slashing damage or something like that. You know? Damn, the thing always gets me, man. Gets me every time. Empty. Totally empty. Every damn time. Assume nothing. Everybody failed their perception check. Scratch, what are you doing? Indolence breeds madness. Whips and blades always sharp. I feel like I'm playing a platformer right now. <laughs> oh shit. I'll look up the golem legendary actions. Oh, I already did a full honor mode run, James. And I died on the final boss. And the final boss had 19 HP. So I've already done every single combat encounter except Raphael. He's the only one that I haven't done. Do, 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 do. Keep a blade close. Let's move. Favorite hammer you found is in the burning building in Act 1. That's Hammercraft. Yeah, it's a pretty cool hammer. Pretty good. There are traps about. Oh, yeah, I did a I did a video on the channel, James. I think it's my most recent video release. I don't think I did a video after that yet. Um, that's like a highlight of the entire experience. It's pretty comical in terms of what happened. So if you're looking for a, a video going over that, a little 15, 10-minute video. I suggest checking it out. It's pretty funny. You'll never, you'll never believe how I ended up TPKing. Pretty funny, though. Pretty, pretty funny. What's next, I wonder? Action. I think it's called the most... The most tragic honor mode run in Baldur's Gate 3 history. I think that's what I named it. Pretty sad. Sad ending of Wolfhard FPS. Anything else in my playlist for 2024? Hey, man. Yes. Uh, Enshrouded comes out tomorrow. Oh, shit. I'll play Enshrouded tomorrow. 
Uh, I'm trying to make a commitment for this year to play more games for you guys. Because I, I just don't play... I didn't play enough games these past couple years. I just waited for the big ones that I wanted to, and I only covered those like Baldur's Gate. I want to at least play more games this year. So you guys have a place that you can go to at the very least and watch like a quick stream on a new game that comes out to decide if you want to spend your money or not. Um, I do plan on playing Entrouded tomorrow. I think it early access starts at 10 a.m. in the morning. I'm kind of excited for that one. I don't know. I don't know why everybody was so hyped about it. When I played the demo, I thought it was good, but like I didn't think it was that good. It felt a little cheap. I'll try that. Then we have um, Dragon's Dogma 2 is a very big one that I'm looking forward to. I think that's March 22nd. Can't wait for that one. Uh, Nightingale comes out late February. That's a survival game. Um, lucky for me. Shit, this might be under... End. Never mind. I don't, know if I, I don't know what I'm allowed to talk about. You guys will see Nightingale content out of me, though. That's in February. Dragon's Dogma in March. Um... Avowed later on in the year. I, I have about 90% of an avowed script written out for a video coming up on the channel. Uh, doing a deep dive into everything that we've learned. Set it for avowed. What other games do we got? The guy who makes upcoming RPG videos can't remember what games come out this year. Isn't that classic? There's a couple of JRPGs. Uh, that mana game actually kind of looks interesting for me. I'm not going to lie. I don't really play JRPGs that much either. Hey, Miss Tracy. What's up? You too. Favorite hammer? Oh, I already read that comment. Icewind Dale. Icewind Dale. Did we do a part two? I didn't play Icewind Dale. Thanks, Zara. Yeah, I usually focus on fantasy games for sure. Name some games that are coming out this year, folks. Oh, the scimitar mold. Cool. I always wondered where that was. It belongs to an equally elaborate forge, I expect. Oh, you're talking about, um... Lewis, you're talking about my D&D &D narration of Icewind Dale. Man, I, I do gotta finish that sometime. I feel like I should do D&D &D narrations and just start a separate channel for them. But, like, the thought of doing that is just, like, starting back over is just, like, it took me so long to be successful on YouTube. The thought of starting a channel over and then just working for nothing for so long is just, like, I don't know if I want to go through that again. But I don't know, man. We'll see. I think D&D &D, D &D narrations are, uh, are really cool and they're fun for me, but they just take a lot of time. A simple task. Slimes are still in here. Elden Ring DLC? Yeah, if we can get some damn information on that. Light No Fire? I don't think that's not going to be... I don't think that's going to be a 2024 game. But yeah, I'm very excited for what I heard out of that. I mean, obviously it's important to contain our hype. Especially coming out of the No Man's Sky developer. But I'm really excited for Light No Fire. That's definitely like, out of games that I shouldn't be insanely hyped for, I'm very, very excited for that one with like, kind of speculating like the possibilities. You feel called out, Zafia? What, what, what'd I say? What'd I do? What'd I do, man? Love the lore series? Thanks, Carol. Uh, definitely gonna be doing more lore series in the future. Uh, the biggest lore series that I'll probably do will be for Dragon Age Dreadwolf. Let's hope that game turns out good, but... I do plan on doing some lore videos for Dragon's Dogma. Maybe a couple of those. And then also probably some for Avowed. Because Avowed is the Pillars of Eternity world. Let's have a look. And Pillars of Eternity 2 is one of my one of my more favorite CRPGs out there. I thought that was a pretty good game. Don't need the money. JRPGs are a waste of time. Every JRPG is a waste of time. Every single one. Even Final Fantasy that's coming out. Something tells me not everybody's going to agree with you on that one.
I still play guitar? Pretty much never played guitar. I mean, a little bit. But where'd you get? Where'd you get that idea from? I used to be a singer in a metal band for a very long time. I was never really a guitar player. All right, let's see if we can. Oh shit! This guy did a ton of damage. Really? Wow. Stinking cloud. I don't have any clouded dagger scrolls. Really now. Do 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 do. I'm gonna get destroyed if I go in here. Why do I have two misty steps? Gotta check my gear. Uh oh. Very rarely do you guys see me back off from an encounter. I'm trying to think right now. I don't know if I have enough HP to survive their hits. I don't want to waste any like good stuff like potions of speed and stuff on an encounter like this. You know? Don't really have that many good health potions either. I don't want to waste those on a little ad fight like this. Let me think. If I flurry to blows, I might be able to survive this. You know what? If I don't, whatever. Let's go. That's not a good start. Okay. See what happens. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Not good. Could bring in the crew. <laughs> I knew it was a bad idea to come in here. You bastard. Knew it was a bad idea. All right. All right, folks, we've gotten uh, pretty late into the night. I'm feeling like I got to get up and move around and take a little walk, get the body moving. That sedentary lifestyle is not good. So I'm going to call it a night there, and then, um, like always, Tuesday, Thursdays at 7 p.m. Eastern, and then Sunday afternoons are my official scheduled stream days, although I do go live on other days as well. I think I'll be live tomorrow at 10 in the morning for Enshrouded, possibly, to check out that upcoming, uh, or it's early access, uh, survival crafting game. So I think I will be live tomorrow, like 80% sure right now, uh, in the daytime. And then uh, we'll continue this Baldur's Gate 3 run. Maybe Thursday night, unless Enshrouded is really popping and it's really good. Maybe I'll, I don't know. Something like that. We'll play it by ear, okay? But uh, yeah, this Honor Mode run's going pretty good. Next Honor Mode run session, I am confident that we will take on Grim. Not as worried about Grim as I was in my first encounter. I think I'll be fine. I got two. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to be level six. We'll kill Inquisitor Waraz and the Gith Yankee Crash. I'll get myself some nice dexterity gloves to boost that dexterity. So my monk actually has a decent armor class. And then we'll push into the Shadow Curse lands. And then we're almost halfway, I would say. Actually, probably halfway because I'm not going to do all the encounters in Act 3 because I've already done them in a previous run. But yeah, it's going pretty good so far. Made some solid progress tonight. You James, you Sharon, Rick, Rick in the YouTube chat tonight. What the hell? You got Rick in the Twitch and the YouTube chat. You GM Dragon. Protection from evil and good are slept on. Missy steps are amulets and boots. Yeah, I'm gonna have to switch one of those around to give a different character. Although. Getting two... Wait, if I have two Misty Steps, do I get two uses of it? Or if... I, I think I do. That's actually kind of nice. I have two Misty Steps as a monk that recharge on a short or long rest. I think I'll keep that. Plus your Dark Urge duel from a bug against Orin. Good night, Replicator. The Emerity. Mike, peace out. Uh, GM Dragon, uh, Banana. Thank you guys for the donos tonight. Also, welcome to the new channel members, and thank you guys for the primes over on Twitch. 
Peace. We'll get through this run slowly but surely. Um, I played a good amount of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous, Zara. Between early access and the full game, like 70, 80 hours probably, but I never actually finished the game. The problem is that Owlcat games are really stream unfriendly. Really stream unfriendly. I, I saw, um, I saw Co Carnage talking about Rogue Trader the other day on Twitter. <laughs> um, about how the lack of voice acting makes it really, really rough on the voice if you have to read all the lines to a chat. A lot of people also just don't like to have to read everything. The voice acting is nice. Um, so I ended up stopping streaming Wrath of the Righteous because it wasn't enjoyable to stream and I never finished the game. But I liked Wrath of the Righteous uh, from the... I mean, I played a decent amount of hours in it. Just didn't finish it. That was a pretty good game. Haven't played Kingmaker. I'm um, not sure if I'll get around to it one day or not, but we'll see. I hope that Owlcat returns to the Pathfinder series uh, after Rogue Trader. Hope they come back to the fantasy genre. And I also hope they step up their production value a little bit. I was really hoping Rogue Trader would have been a step up in that regards. Not that production value is everything, but after three, after two pretty successful games, I was hoping that Rogue Trader was going to have more to it. Doesn't take away from the depth of the game and the overall quality, but you know. The game looks the same as the Pathfinder games too, like no step up in visual quality or anything like that. So hopefully their next game, I hope that they've been doing good. I hope they have money to invest into their games. With voice actors, what if they use AI voice actors? Dun dun dun. You saw the death, James? You did the same thing? No way. Oh, at the end of act two, that's still, that's that sucks. There's rumors that they're working with something with Unreal, Pathfinder, or Aoka Games. That'd be pretty sweet. Oh, job postings. Interesting. Cool. Look forward to hearing more on that. See you, Jordan. See you, Justin. Jera Vicious. Midnight Mask. Thoughts on Monk compared to Fighter? Um, I don't know which one's better, but the monk is pretty damn fun so far. I think the monk is more- I, I feel like the monk is more fun than the fighter so far, but I'm not sure if it's more powerful or not. KOE 2 was a great game. Yeah, it was. They did such a good job. It was like you were just like living in a book is what it felt like. 